Hi everyone, Tony from Hack the Movies here, and we finally did it. We covered all the movies leading up to it, and now that it's Friday the 13th again, this time in October, Woo! it's time to talk about the long-awaited Freddy vs. Jason. It's gonna be a showdown. Today I'm talking about tapes. I don't know why we started dancing. <laughs> talk, 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 talking, talking about tapes. You might be sitting there watching this right now saying, Tony, where did you get these amazing Disney's Haunted Mansion themed banners or this cool Michael Myers mask or any of this other spooky stuff? Well, the answer is Timu. Timu is the number one free app on the App Store now. It's an online marketplace that offers the most competitively priced products in multiple categories. And right now, there's a site-wide sale with savings up to 90% off. Free shipping and free returns within 90 days. And you get a $5 credit for any late deliveries. Oftentimes, when I buy something on a site, I will find it somewhere else cheaper, and I get frustrated because I'm just stuck with this overpriced thing. Well, don't worry. If that happens to you on Timu and you catch it within 30 days, you get a partial refund. So I popped on there over on Timu and I got myself some merch related to franchises that I love. Obviously, this is the Freddy vs. Jason episode and I've been covering the Nightmare on Elm Street series all year long. So I thought it'd be cool to get this nice Elm Street uh, street sign. Isn't that cool? You might be noticing this big green thing behind me. Well, this is actually a pop-up green screen they use for uh, computer chairs. So now when I stream, I can pop this baby on and transport myself anywhere. And you guys know me, you know I love the Alien movie, so I got some merch related to the Alien franchise. I started off with this cute little uh, stuffed Xenomorph Alien doll. One of the first Alien figures I ever remember getting was the Kenner Scorpion Alien. So I was ecstatic when I went onto Timu and saw that they had the updated NECA figure for the Scorpion Alien. It was this fun little line they did where they redid the old Kenner uh, toys, but updated them to make them look like more realistic and match the movies a little bit more. Uh, so yeah, that's a lot of fun to have these two bad boys back to back. Download the Timo app or use code DKA3739 to get 50% off your first purchase. So yes, check that out and get yourself some fun stuff for spooky season. Thanks, Timu. Hello, Joe from Movie Dumpster. How are you? I'm very well. Tony from Hack the Movies. How are you? I'm doing great. Excellent. It's been a long journey. Hello, Crystal. Hi. Cool. <laughs> anyway, uh, yes. We reviewed all the Friday the 13th on this uh, channel. Yes. And as of this recording, the one we did for 789 is now one of my most watched videos of all time. Woo! That was, that's great, and that, I don't was a, know, that was a fun one to talk about. I don't know what it was about that particular video. Maybe it was the movie choices. I don't know what it is, but more not, than all the other ones. I'm not saying it was us, but... And then, of course, after that, I did Jason X with uh, Monica and Johanna. I forgot who the other one was for a second. I'm like, who else is <laughs> wow. on this channel? <laughs> I forgot the other one. <laughs> I forgot the other one. Like, they're your kids or some shit. <laughs> uh, where are they? I don't know. And all this year... Uh, we're even starting a little bit last year. We've been doing all of the Nightmare on Elm Streets. So we skipped two because I had a solo review, but I did a commentary track for it. You also did an interview with Jack Shoulder. I mean, in my Wish Master 2 else, review, yeah. So cool. And then obviously we didn't do a review for New Nightmare, but that's because I did one over on Dragon Curve. And I'm pretty sure I also did a commentary track to shut people up for that one. Uh, but yeah, so where we last left off review wise was Jason X and Freddy's Dead, which yes. I did with my friend uh, Kaylee from Once Over with Kaylee. Cool. And yeah, Freddy versus Jason, the movie everyone wanted for some reason. You would always hear rumors about it. Yes. And from what I read from the the magazine, Robert Englund was a little annoyed that he would always hear that it was about to start, and he turned down some projects over the years. So he, he had no problem with doing it. It was just a matter of yeah. it not getting made. He really wanted to do it. Yeah. He was ready to do it. And he would turn down stuff thinking it was going to happen. And then it wouldn't happen. And he would be very upset. Yes. Um, they talked about it for, I think, I want to say it's been at least 20 years of a talking project. Yes. Do you remember 
remember that DVD they put out on Blockbuster years ago called Boogeymen? Yeah. Where it was just clips of horror movies. And it had the Rob Zombie cover of Mommy Boogeyman. Yeah. Yeah. Bo- yeah. Well, really? Robert Englund did commentary tracks for all those scenes. Did he? I don't and think I th- I've ever watched it with the commentary. I movie. remember in that, I think he said at that time, like, Freddy vs. Jason is greenlit. And it's coming. And I remember hearing that in like 2000 and going, cool, any day now. Yeah. <laughs> That's how everyone felt on that one. Yeah. And I'm sure people in the 90s were like, cool, any day now. And they, <laughs> and they read it in Fangoria in fucking 1990. The, the, four, yes. p- the four people who went to theaters for, for uh, Jason Goes to Hell were like, cool, <laughs> the, the, the Freddy Glove. We're going to see him soon. No. <laughs> was that theatrical? Like like, like yeah. that, that scene, I mean? Yeah, that was, that was okay. theatrical. Okay. Yeah. They did it on purpose. Yeah. Like, they... Um, but yeah, it was weird. They So they hinted that, but then they ended up doing New Nightmare, mm-hmm. which is a spinoff. Uh, thing it's really good but uh it's like a whole spin-off thing set in another universe it's Wes Craven's fuck you like yeah. alright that's enough nightmare movies and then yeah. they did Jason X which is set so far in the future like even if Freddy versus Jason happened you're like okay well I guess no matter what happens he ends up in space or something are you gonna rem- talk oh, what? I was gonna say are you gonna talk about um why it kept being talked about why don't you talk about it shit I'm gonna fuck up my facts I can't wait so you came in here with so much confidence. I did. I was Lay like, yeah, down. let's go. And then all the cameras are on. I'm like, I forget everything. Because <laughs> what else happens? Really? It's been like, like three I years. Swear. You're still getting camera shy? What the fuck? No, Dude, sometimes those not... lights hit you and you're just like, ah. Uh. <laughs> no, like my brain just stops working. It's not a me thing. It's the brain thing. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> so they were talking. They wanted to do this after. I cannot remember. And I said this earlier. I couldn't remember if it was after. Um. The fourth Nightmare on Elm Street or the fifth one, but around that time when they're like, wow, these movies are doing great with Nightmare on Elm Street and Friday the 13th. Mm. Like, how Mm. can we combine these crazy, awesome, successful slashers together and do a Freddy vs. Jason kind of thing? But both companies, what was it? um, Paramount. Paramount Paramount and and Lions. What was it? New Line. A New Line. Yeah, Yeah. Lionsgate New Line, right? No, 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 just New Line. It was just New Line line at that time? Okay. Um, They both said, yeah, this is great, awesome, but they're like, but you're giving us your rights, right? It's like, no, 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 you're giving us your rights. And like, no, no. They should have made that Spider-Man deal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I they, think yeah. I think we mentioned, like, Friday 13th Part 8 didn't do well, and I think after that, Paramount's like, okay, we could sell this off. Exactly. Sell so 5 didn't do well either for Nightmare 5, and uh, Part 8 didn't do well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, like, well, you, after 5, they're like, well, we you do one more, let's do Freddy's Dead, and then somehow they did New Nightmare, which I don't think did well financially, even though it was I think really that good. was Wes Craven coming back saying, I'm, that's not going to be the end of my character. I'm going yeah. mm-hmm. to do this one last thing. Um, yeah. Actually, he was, according to the Freddy vs. Jason magazine, which I still have, uh, he was attached to this at one point, and he couldn't figure out how to do it in a way that wasn't, like, a joke. Yeah. Um, people were real afraid of making it too comical. I'm like, well, he's got some comedy in it, but... I wouldn't be afraid of that. I mean, it's Freddy versus fucking Jason. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. the comedy's there. I mean, it's it's there for yeah. sure. Oh yeah. my God, I don't I... think anybody else could do it except for Ronnie Yu, by the way. Yeah. We'll, we'll abs- get to it. Yes, but yeah. I agree on that. Well, that's another thing. So that they had for this originally yeah. are d- dumb. With yeah. like a fucking, do you remember all of that stuff about like the Mountain of Souls or some shit? Yeah, the, the Fred Head cult. Yeah, There was a Fred like Head that. cult. Yeah. Uh, there was one where a girl like writes a... Uh, uh, some article on the killers and it's shared on the internet and that brings back the fear of them and revives them. I read that in the magazine. Oh, that's bad. Uh, they went through a bunch of directors, Steve Norrington, yeah. Guillermo del Toro. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Could you imagine a Freddy vs. Jason? A Guillermo, look, a Guillermo del Toro, yeah. Freddy vs. Jason. I would love that to would, see that. That would be cool. It. Just to like, I mean, it wouldn't no. be what it is, but oh my, it would be interesting. Yeah, there sure. was one guy who I think was attached. Um, oh, Rob, Rob Botin. Was attached for a while, and yeah. I think he eventually left because it just wasn't moving. Mm-hmm. Um, that must have been like at the ass end too, because he he stopped doing special effects. Yeah. Oh, around ninety eight. So. Rob Bottin. Yeah, Rob Bottin. I thought he did more. I don't know. He I forget. It was late nineties. He stopped. Maybe. I don't think he like, or, like retired until recently. No, no, I, it's, no, I don't. I don't really know. We'll figure it out. Yes. I'll fact check that. Yes. <laughs> okay. It was, it had to be 2000s then. Like <laughs> early 2000s. Yes. It was definitely early 2000s. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, they just kept putting the whole project on the table and they just kept going and going. And then 
Was it? I, I like the that guy? they wait. I like that they were really trying to figure out the script, as if the script for these movies are always winners. <laughs> like, and it's not like even before they were even in the script, like in trying to figure out the director. Like it wasn't until um, they figured out an idea. But what was it? Um, Michael Duncan. Am I saying that? Uh, Michael Duncan, right? That sounds right. From uh, New Line. Okay. He ended up getting fired because of one of the films didn't do so great. And I oh think yeah, it was, there, I read there was like a regime change at the studio, there was. which then hurt oh, that all the bell pushed everything around. Yeah. yeah. So they had to wait again because um, the right everyone was like ready to go and had this great plot. Like they were like ready, yeah. but then because there was new executive producers, they had to repitch the entire thing yeah, like, and no. redo the entire. So it just pushed it even more. All right, so Freddie and Jason are going to fight in hell, and it's going to be a $400 million CGI thing. And they're like, no, they're how like, about no, I don't not? Think so. They were going to say, <laughs> this was, I think, was the dumbest one. I'm so happy they didn't do it, that Freddie was actually an original counselor at the lake. That I don't fucking... That, 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 that sounds like something that would be now. That was an idea that they. I could see that working. Like, is he the one who actually killed Jason? Like, he he could have done something, something else before he killed him, too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, or is he really Jason's father? Oh, Either one of those That's stupid so things. I don't think that works out timeline wise. But then again, a... as we learned, I think uh, what is it, Jedediah Voorhees? Yeah, or no, Elias <laughs> Todd. Elias. I think we talked about the continuity of Friday Thirteenth. So this movie must take place in the year four thousand mm. uh, before all the space stuff, because the continuity of these movies make no sense. <laughs> Oh, like, like Freddy's oh. dead, it starts off saying ten years from now. It's like ten years from what? Five. And all the kids are dead. And it's like, oh, I guess in between that time, new kids have come in and they're all teenagers now. Well, every town has an Elm Street, Tony. Don't forget that. No, but this is Springwood again. <laughs> I, know. I know. I'm just saying. Yeah. Um, yeah. So they eventually got Ronnie Yu involved, uh, who had just done Ride of Chucky. Which yes. is yeah. a great film. And that's, again, like, yeah. that's how you can do that. That's yeah. the only time it works. Yes. And then everything after Bride of Chucky, when you try to do that, yeah. does not work. I enjoy yeah. some of it. I enjoy some of it. I need to finish season two of the show. Ugh. Season one was fun. But anyway. Season one started off strong. We gotta get back to the Child's Play series soon. I didn't we even only did the it. one. I didn't even re I didn't watch it. We Oh, the Child's no, no, the, the series, I mean the just the movies. Series. We yeah, only we ever do. reviewed the first one. We gotta do more. Yeah, we do. And I did that breakdown on the TV Two is too. so good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love I, I really I like, like three too. And Bride of Chucky's good. I too. love Bride of Chucky. Yeah. But with uh Ronnie Yu, I was actually listening to his commentary and every like some of his um commentary on the movie and stuff he has so much passion for this yeah big time and i speak about this about the friday the 13th or i'm sorry um the halloween episode i said this where you truly do see the passion of the director that shows Ooh. through yeah. a lot of the times because in halloween 3 you could see like there's passion. you can see in certain movies there's the passion and it's not just mm. a money maker yeah that's why I feel like this was, and it shines so well because Ron is like, there's so many times, there are so many little deleted scenes mm -hmm. that I watched, and he says it didn't, it just took too long, and he cut it. It didn't further the story. And what I do I think it's a well paced movie. Yeah, no, is, is you very are well in and out. Yeah. And he does that. He, because they said they did um, the, uh, whatchamacallit, where test the, screening. Test screening, thank you. They did the test screening, and there was like lines that were said, and where the audience was like, fuck this shit. <laughs> and he sees it, and he says, like, I am so happy I cut this, because it doesn't, he, every time Oh, he the shows, one that goes, was in the too trailer. Long, too long, too long. There was one in the trailer they used for the trailer, and then they didn't use in the movie, where she goes, Freddy versus Jason. Place your bits. That's oh. what he does. That's, that's a cool line for the trailer, but in the scene, you're like, why yes. would she say that in that moment? That's a cool VO line, not yeah. from one of the characters. <laughs> exactly. And they said that was Freddy the biggest Jason, groan. Place your bets. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And it was one of the biggest groans in the um, in that. And yeah. they're like, no, we're taking out. And they were happy about the test screening because everything that they wanted to pull, it was justified. Yeah. Ooh. So they were able to do it. And it's just the pace. And, they're, and the, what I really like, too, is the director did not treat the audience as dumb sure he said i mean we already said this we already said this here's part of the script and what was already said but the audience already knows this so we're cutting it which i really appreciate yeah i mean it's also a pacing thing and it's also uh again if the crowd doesn't react to it i mean so many people have been waiting so long for this yeah. movie and as goofy as everybody thinks it might be especially non-horror fans yeah. like yeah. It was essential that it was at least decent, yeah. which he managed to pull off. He did. So I wanted oh. to fucking watch this movie so bad. I wanted it to happen so bad. That's when what I was, I was gonna ask. When did you see this? Going on a trip with my buddy um, to Cleveland to see the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. 
and this came out the same weekend. From Howard the Duck? Yeah, he okay. was there. I met him in oh, a wow. dumpster. Yeah. She taught me quack foo and shit. It was great. Oh. <laughs> I sang with him on stage. No, that's it. <laughs> um, so we, I went with my buddy and his mother drove because we were kids at the time. But like, I was trying to, now my buddy's mom was like super like straight laced. Mm -hmm. And like, I was trying to convince her so bad. I was like, look, this movie's coming out. Like, we really need to go see it. I know you don't like horror movies, but like, I need to go see it. Yeah. And it's it, like opening night. <laughs> So we're in Cleveland, and um, it was probably one of the best theater experiences ever. Mm -hmm. um, one of the lines that got the best response at the particular movie theater I was in was the house sweet dark meat. The <laughs> fucking house exploded. Um, so uh, that was a lot of fun. It was a really like rowdy crowd. I had a good time. It was yeah. really nice. it was one of my f favorite memories. Yeah. When did you first oh. see this, Crystal? I don't even know. I don't know. I don't have a, unfortunately, I don't have such an epic memory, but I just, I don't gotta know. Gotta stop smoking. <laughs> crack. <laughs> yeah. It's all like crack. Well, here's me. Yeah. I, um. I'd be so much skinnier. Much like you, I was very excited for this, and my yeah. best friend was really excited for yeah. this. We were thrilled, where we couldn't wait. Yeah. You know, we're still, we're still high off that buzz we got the year prior with Halloween Resurrection. We're all on board for this, okay? Speaking of Halloween Resurrection, yeah, you do you know that you are on my show for that? You whoever's watching should go check out Movie Dumpster Halloween Resurrection. When with they Tony. said that they were doing Halloween Resurrection, I was like, you got to bring in the number one res tar, Tony from Hack the Movies. <laughs> Tony has a special dangertainment camera They're as well. Like, oh my god! Which was a, a personal choice. It was totally I on purpose. Requested it. Yes. It's not because you forgot a camera and no. I came up with that stupid idea. Um, but, but hooking yeah, so, up the high eight was the best thing we could have did. So we went to go sneak into it, like we often did. Really? You didn't have anybody that took you? We'll get to that. Okay. Occasionally we would, but sometimes you just want to go by yourselves. Yeah, sure. So uh, we went to the theater. We made the mistake of sneaking into a movie on opening day. Ooh, Oops. that's dumb. Yeah, they're a little bit more observant. Uh, although now uh, nowadays I don't know because theaters are like ghost towns now. Theaters are weird. Like I'm like, do I show a ticket? Do I not show a ticket? Do I have to print a ticket? Do I not have to print a ticket? Some theaters. I, I feel like sometimes I can just walk in. <laughs> Some of them you can walk in. Some of them are like strict security, and I'm like, yeah. Well, this is when the security nice. was very strict at the Grant Plaza Movie Theater, where Hack the Movies was born years later. Oh, it's at the Woo! parking lot. In the parking lot, yes. Do they have a statue of you there yet? <laughs> they really or should. I will write. I will write to the township. At least in like, your own parking lot where that car was. It's a statue of me like this. No, just you going with the thumbs up. It's got to be the thumbs up. Ew. So, Ew. Uh, me and my friend were like, all right, we're going to go there. I think we were with some girls that we were not dating because <laughs> teenage Tony, we weren't there yet. Uh, just, girls that I probably wanted to date and did not successfully pull off. You're on the cusp. Wow, yes. things never change. Yeah, we circled back to that. <laughs> we, we went to a point where I was just dating a little too much, and now we've circled back to just not a lot. Because so. you got it all out then, you know? <sighs> no, I didn't get it all out. It's just I became less obtainable, I guess, <laughs> or less desired. Anyway, uh, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> We love wow. you, Wow, you're chugging so we went. So we so went sad. into the theater, and we bought tickets for, I believe, the film Uptown Girls, starring Brittany Murphy oh. and Dakota Fanning, because we obviously we couldn't buy tickets for the R-rated movie, so we bought tickets for the movie happening at the same time. Yeah. Uh, and they totally believed it. They were like, yeah, those those two young men. Yeah, the you Nightmare know, the people Elm selling shirts. the tickets believed yeah. it, and then we walked in the theater, and we were heading there. And then, you know, this is probably where we really should have rethought our plans. My friend probably shouldn't have been wearing a hockey mask. Oh, yeah. That, well, that'll yeah, the, every time. Yeah. The really? security For guard. Time, like, I, that makes sense. Or he just came back from a hockey game. No, the security guard picked up on the Yeah, with a hockey mask from 1975. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the He's security guard traveler. picked up on the hockey mask. And also, I probably shouldn't have been wearing a Freddy t-shirt. Mm. See, I called it. I knew you were fucking wearing it. Yeah. You knew he was a dumb kid? Well, yeah, I should have been wearing a Britney Murphy t-shirt exactly. now that I think about yeah. it. So the guy went, what movie are you seeing? I'm like, Uptown Girls. And he did not believe it. He wouldn't let us in the theater, but we also didn't want to see Uptown Girl, so I think he let us go see the movie SWAT. Nice. Which actually wasn't that bad. It was a pretty good movie. Huh. Then, I was like, let's compromise. Then, like a week later, my same friend, his mom and sister took us to see the movie. Oh, there you go. Uh, at the theater that I go to now, which I'm not going to say the name of, because I don't want people following me there. But uh, You shouldn't do that either, yeah. Uh -huh. 
You shouldn't do that. I think I even if it. you said it, no one was is going to follow you into that theater. No, I've been recognized several times in that theater. Really? Yeah, and I always tell people, like, yeah, we can take a picture. Don't you dare tag it. <laughs> I'm like, don't you dare tag where we are. But let's take the picture. <laughs> um, that's, so, that's, yeah. that's trust. That's real trust. If you, see, family members. If you <laughs> see me at weird. If you see me at the theater, you can stop me. We can take a picture. Just don't you fucking dare tag where it is. You are so famous, Tony. Um, And we walked out of the movie, and we went, well, that was the greatest thing ever made until the next thing we see that is the greatest thing ever made because we're 13, 14, and that's how we judge movies. Sure. Uh, yeah, we had a great time. A I loved it. I'm like, this is amazing. It's everything yeah. I wanted. Um, yeah, and over the years, you think I might like sour on it or be like, oh, that movie I like for my childhood. Like well, some of the sequels, I'm like, oh man, I really like this movie more than I probably should. That's how I feel with most of the Halloween sequels. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. wow, I was really into Halloween 6. I don't know why. I but really no. still like Halloween 6. I'll stand by that. Anyway, talk about that another day. Well, you've already talked. <laughs> We've about already. It. Talked about I will it. talk about it another day. I can talk about it with you if you want to tell Let's you how talk about good it, right it is. Now, so Halloween Six. Yes. It was directed. No, <laughs> the producer's cut. Surprise, and, motherfucker! And now, <laughs> it's just. I knock over the sign. Trick it's or treat, Halloween. motherfucker! Wow, we're doing a whole Men in Black kind of thing again, aren't we? <laughs> Jesus. So yeah, over the years, I revisited when I'm marathoning and everything. I still really enjoyed. Honestly, yes. it's one of the better movies in both series. It holds up. It, it it's it fun. Is, it's bloody, and it gets to the fucking point and gets the fuck out of dodge. It yeah. is more of a Freddy movie, which we'll go through. I think it needs to be more of a Freddy movie. Yeah, and also the studio made it did all the Freddy movies. Sure, um, but there is so, a lot of people that do agree that it's an equal amount. They, well, when they they vast audiences. They're like, oh, like the hardcore Jason fans are like, there's too much Freddy, and then the hardcore Freddy fans are like, there's too much Jason. Uh, I don't think so. I I do agree that there's more Freddy in this, but apparently a lot of people beg to differ. It's a Freddy vehicle. It yeah. needs to be because Freddy he's the, is he's definitely the, he's the character who speaks. Yeah, Freddy you know? is definitely yeah. the main antagonist. Yeah. Jason is there's, the secondary. I don't think you can make it the other way around though. And it's also called mm. Freddy vs. Jason on Jason vs. Freddy. Yeah, but Freddy vs. Jason sounds better. Yeah. Oh yeah. But I feel like that also, like, before you even watch the movie, it kind of gives you, like, that mm -hmm. it's Freddy versus Jason. Yeah. And but I don't think you could do it any other way. I don't think you can make Jason the main one because that's just not who he is. But he's yeah. never the he's never the main point. He's never the main thing in the in the Friday movies anyway. He's yeah, he's, the, he's the periphery uh looming danger. Yeah, he's not he's, he's not a character per se. Exactly. He's also a demon worm. <laughs> this is also true. Yeah. Jason goes to hell's great. Anyway. I mean, yeah. I, in this movie, sadly, they didn't know. But they're like, wait, if we blow him up. See, thank goodness they didn't do the, that angle. Yeah, but they should have blown him up no. because who knows where his uh, niece and her kid is. That demon worm would probably just die. That, didn't that's have, didn't have a sweet Voorhees. There uh, should have been a guy that goes, go up, yeah? there should have been a guy that goes, by the way, Jason died. And also as hard as a demon worm that might possess you. So make sure you don't get possessed and then kill the demon worm. And you should be good. Make sure the demon worm doesn't go up a relative's vagina or else Jason's back. I don't know if Freddy was clued in on that. Freddy became a demon worm one time. <gasps> Why and he becomes one again. And that was a big hog. <laughs> trying to fit that up there? My goodness gracious. Why did it? Eats Patricia Arquette. Yes. <laughs> okay. I know they didn't want to do a sequel to Freddy vs. Jason. Didn't need but, it. Yeah. But if they were to do a sequel, hear me out. The Worms. <laughs> it's just the Worms, <laughs> just the worms. versus Demon Worm Jason. Great yeah. idea. Wait, wait, wait. Which Thank worm? The, the the fucking hookah smoking worm in this one? Oh, it's so good. <laughs> That's more of a caterpillar. Anyway, yeah, it is same okay. difference. No, no, no. The other one. Anyway, like, anyway. I, oh, there's so many. Let's, uh, <laughs> now that we've talked about the movie a little bit, let's go through the plot here. Okay. Freddy vs. Jason, the end. <laughs> no. A bit more to that. No, actually, cool. actually, they cracked the code on this one. Go ahead. Yeah, so let's go through here. Starts <laughs> off, I love the Freddy theme mixed with the ch ch ch. Yes. I know there's some asshole in the comments going, isn't it key key key? Well, it sounds like chi chi chi, all right? Yeah, it says yeah, yeah. it all of a shark. Look anyway. at my boobs. It says chi chi chi. It doesn't sound like key key key. Also, yeah. when you when that came up in the theater, holy fucking shit. Yeah. The new line logo would ding 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 ding. Yeah. And then, and then, that yeah. That was cool. Yes, it was. That was cool. And then um, we get a backstory on Freddy. They show him as the Springwood Slasher. I appreciate he's wearing the long coat like he is in Freddy's Dead. Yeah. Um, they talk about how the town burned him alive. They left out the dream people offering him the job as Dream Demon. I would have left that in. 
I want it all! Yeah, yeah. they left that part out. I don't yeah. know why. You should have been like, and also, there were dream people. That they, gave these me little jobs. fishes went inside me. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm, I have little fish demons inside <laughs> me. We'll talk about We We won't have to mention that again. I just want you to know. There's a big audience. door with a relief of them on it. Anyway. Yeah. And then we get to see like a clip show of all his greatest hits of him slicing and dicing and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, then it shows him dying. You know, his daughter blew him up. They didn't show the head within a head explosion. Yeah, I guess the they, felt that. they knew what clips to use. They mm. did. They really did. They didn't they want did. to over cheese it. No. Yeah. And then um, and then he's like, so everyone forgot about me after I died. And I can't come back if no one remembers. And he's like, but that's okay. I found someone in hell. And I'm going to send him out there to kill some people. And they'll think it's me. Even though I've never worn a hockey mask or used a machete in my life. So hey, he's be, trying. He's trying. He's but trying. But if nobody knows who he is, it works. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And then we I see... think it's fucking great. That's such a great yeah. premise. Yeah. I mean, who else would you actually want as a killer, though? Who else would Freddie... Who else would you like to see Freddie... Vert, like instead of well, Jason, who like would it be? Would well, it be pe- Michael Myers? People want like, Michael Myers and like Jason and stuff, but like it makes sense for Freddy because it's like, oh well, Jason can't die, so I'm gonna bring his ass back, yeah, yeah. And, and use him like a puppet because of the Vor- Miss yeah. Voorhees thing, yeah, which is pretty interesting. I which find yes, that um, that's my next note. That's oh wait, we're actually real quick. There are zero flashbacks to Jason's story because New Line only had two movies. One wouldn't work chronologically for this, and the other one, he's only Jason in the beginning and the end. So we just kind of skip over his shit. Anyway, well, he's the, a lot more simpler of a story to tell. Anyway. Yeah, it is. But I know in the beginning that they had the deleted scene where um, the girl in the because I saw the deleted scenes after they didn't make it seem like she um, the one that goes skinny dipping. She it didn't look like she was a counselor, right? No, oh, she was just a sexy. So, just, so that's yeah. what it was in the deleted scene. She's a counselor. I have oh. I have so a really really important note about this. Uh, it's in all caps. Boobs. Before you see boobs, those those Snoopies come right out. They're like, which I remember my best friend's mom afterwards. Her and her and her and the, his sister just going like, "Man, all the tits in that movie were fake." They sure are. Yeah, but she is an amazing butt. She's beautiful. She's got a good butt. So that's and what she, I'm I do like. Beautiful. I do like the her being like Michael, and I'm like, does she say it? Yeah, she says Michael. Is it she's, Michael yeah. or David? No, she's no, calling Michael. for a guy named Michael, oh, yeah. which is yeah. pretty funny. But before that, though, in the deleted scene, <laughs> she's in the cabin telling the kids to go to sleep, and the kid is going up. I love this deleted scene. The yeah. reason they deleted it, though, is because the intro is just too long. It's, yeah. But the kid is really cool in it because the kid's like, goes up to her and goes, I've had a really bad dream. So you're actually thinking it's a Freddy thing. He, they uh, actually turn it to make it a Freddy thing. He's like, I've had a really bad dream, but it's like you're in a camp, so you're not sure where it's going. Mm-hmm. And the kid's like, and she's like, yeah, just go back to bed or whatever. Like, she just doesn't care. She just wants to go out into the yeah. lake and see this guy. I like, I like, like ladies do. Am I right? <laughs> Hey, listen. Smoke pot, just... premarital sex. Yeah, man. Woo! All the time. All the time. I like how it's like a Jason dream. Yeah. Like, he's like It's dead. very cliche, but yeah. that's kind of the point. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It's kind of the but point because it's a dream for, it. for Jason, yeah. really, yeah. in hell. I mean, that's what he does. Yeah. And he I like. Teens. I actually like. Yeah. It's kind of fun, like, him, like, lumbering around, yeah. stalking or whatnot. So it's Ken Kurzinger, who I have an autograph of there. The the the, so, the werewolf from Bad Moon himself. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, the guy who got thrown into a wall by Jason in part eight. Yeah. People were very upset <laughs> that Kane Hodder didn't come back. Yes. The, but. The, do you know the reason why? So there's the, it was never confirmed. Oh, it was confirmed. Robert was Englund. It? Robert Englund in this magazine at the time didn't have a confirmation, but I think he said it at one point. But it's pretty obvious. But Ronnie, what do you think? Ronnie, you specifically said something about he didn't have the right compassion in his eye or something. I didn't hear that. Yeah, no. like 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 he acted better with his eye, and that was a whole total bullshit. Yeah. I remember meeting Kane Hodder and being like, "What the fuck?" And he's like, "Ah, it's fucking bullshit," and he would just be talking about I don't know why. Tell me why. Well, I think it's pretty obvious. Ken Kersinger is gigantic. Yeah, but he's wearing fucking twenty inch uh, Frankenstein. Yeah, heels. they made him even bigger. No, yeah, he's he's. Tall. But if you so see them heard. in Friday Thirteenth Part Eight, you just kind of tower over that Jason. That's what I. W- that's the theory I heard was that Kane Hodder was not even tall enough. Not that he was. Like, he wasn't even thought of because they wanted him. They the other guy is just bigger. Yeah, yeah. he wanted him towering over Freddy. And they just looked better together. They just. Looked because like it, I get it, it. I get it. Sure. It's not what I. I probably would have thrown Kane Hodder in there. I they said they didn't even reach out to Kane Hodder. He no. wasn't even like told yeah, but like, at all. But like, 
I was thinking about this today watching it. I was like, yeah, what if this was Kane? Like, just the way his body moves and yeah. stuff. Yeah. I don't know. I think. Well, with this, Jason's kind of like a. J- he's a Frankenstein. Jason is Jason's very a zombified Frankenstein's in this. Frankenstein's monster, excuse me. Yeah, he's very yes, zombified yes, in this. Yes, yes. He's like still waking up. I think yeah. his joints are working right. Oh, oh, he's got. He's like bald and he's like extra bald, but he like yeah. looks like he's all. Uh, w- what's the word? Uh, when when your skin's rotten and stuff and it turns all black. Oh, oh yeah, I, forget, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forget what they call it. What happens like when you get frostbitten and stuff? Yeah, okay. yeah. He um they never show his face, but he had a face. It's been released on like uh like toys and stuff. Mm-hmm. They've like shown what it looks like. Yep, the neck of figure has. Um, it. but yeah, so he kills the woman. She turns into different people, and then we see his mom wearing a red sweater. Wearing a red sweater. Mommy has something she wants you to do. And that girl does kind of look like. She was great. Yeah, she, she works. Really she nice. looks like if, if Freddie was pretending to, to be, be Mrs. Voorhees. It works really it well, does. actually. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, she's like, you got to go to Elm Street. The kids are very bad there, so go kill them. And then we get the reveal that it's Freddie. <laughs> Rise up, Jason. Man, yeah. that's a I do like awesome that shot scene. of like, the lungs and his heart starts beating and stuff. That, that was yeah. so. so they I know they were they were kind of against CGI a little bit. The yeah. director. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I There's an ass ton of CG mm. in this movie. Um, he really wanted um it to be more realistic looking. There's mm. a lot of CGI um deleted scenes that were. Oh, there's one of the out. dead boyfriend. A fucking machete shoved up my ass. Where he's all flopping around. Yep, so that one looks really that, bad. And there's the ones with the eels coming out of the one kid's Yeah, mouth. they mm-hmm. cut they out a cut lot of the bad CG. The yeah. bad CGI, which I really appreciate. Yeah. Because they said they wanted it to look as real and cool and just as... Ron uh, Ronnie's actual words was, I wanted to look as raw as possible. Mm. Because that is what he's trying to go back into. I think it was actually... Um, he Strip said it was the... Um, what did he say? Um... The, one of the Rocky movies where like blood is kind of like sports out of his eye at some point. Uh, that's probably the first it. one. The yeah, first where, two, yeah. Where he's trying to open his eye and some blood sports. Yeah. He says he will always remember that scene and how it made him feel. And that's what he was trying to portray in this one where like you see a lot of blood just kind of squirting out in different there areas. There is a lot of blood. There's a lot and of blood. And that's what he wanted to give. And yeah. more of a, just, he just wanted pure role where they actually yeah. left one of the cameras on their fighting scene and it's like he just wanted to show like ripping out like yeah. organs. Oh, totally, yeah. And However. As raw as possible. Yeah. However, uh, when it comes to CGI, we get a CGI title sequence of the flesh ripping and the blood spilling. Which is kind of neat, but also yeah. kick up that fucking butt metal, dude. Like, oh, I, don't, the metal, I don't need that. The song, the, oh, and then it just fades out. I'm like, oh, who even yeah. sang that? Why? Get Rob Zombie in there. Why yeah. not? He didn't. <laughs> He wasn't, we didn't hate him yet. He was doing House of a Thousand Corpses. Yeah, throw him in there. Let's do a song real quick. That'll get you pumped up. Yeah, a pretty Jason Gale move about Slater. And then Jason walks all the way from Jersey to Ohio. He sure does. He caught caught a bus. You think he took the, the lake? Oh, that's right. He the, the river. Magical, he was, <laughs> yes, yeah. it turns out the lake in uh, Jersey that connects to the ocean yeah, to yes, New yes, York. Yes, yes. There's also a separate channel that'll take you to Ohio. I think we took we talked about this. Yeah, in the, yes. part, in the, the episode with Part Eight. You know? Yeah, well, we talked. That's how Crystal gets to the store all the exactly. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. He took the Freddy ferry. Yeah, the Freddy ferry. <laughs> Because Freddy's dead revealed that it's been Ohio the whole time. Yes. Um, Every town has an Elm Street tone. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so yeah, we, um, we see the Freddy house. The door is now orange and there was a stupid deleted scene where she chips away at the paint and sees that it was red. You yes. told me that. And I, for whatever reason, I don't remember watching that. Like as yeah. a kid on the DVD, is there another deleted scene where she chips away more and then it's blue? Cause it was blue in the nope. first movie. <laughs> like, nope. Is there another scene nope. where uh, Ronnie Blakely gets spit out the window instead of sucked <laughs> back in? Actually, maybe. <laughs> um, so yeah, we meet our three main actresses, Monica Kina, Catherine Isabel, and Kelly Rowling. Catherine Isabel obviously was I in Ginger love Snaps. Her. Uh I they play she was they play Lori, uh Gib, yes. who I thought was Kim this whole time, but it's Gib. Yeah. And uh Kia. Spell, yeah. Uh they're our main characters. I do like that uh Gib throws a cigarette at Jason's face. That's yeah. pretty funny. Oh, out in the I kept thinking outside. that what's her face? The blonde. Yeah. For some odd reason, I know we mentioned Brittany Murphy earlier. She just gives me Brittany Murphy vibes. Kind of. I, every the face time. shape, yeah. If Brittany Murphy yes. had like way bigger tits than yes. 
Someone posted on. <laughs> Tell uh, he's a titty man. Someone sure posted is. on uh, X recently. They made an X post on that website X. They, I hear they give it to you there. Yes. Yeah. Uh, they said that uh, <laughs> they were like, we don't talk enough about the two real stars of Freddy versus Jason. It was a picture of her, and I and I reposted it. You say repost now. Uh, on X, and I was all mm. like, I've literally been talking about this since I saw it in the theaters. I was like, how big her tits <laughs> She's top heavy. Hey, she was hot. She was hot. What kind of happened to her? She kind of like faded away. She well, did like a bunch of yeah, indie I'm stuff. Sure. Yeah, but she was like in a couple things after this. Wasn't she it? was in a lot of big stuff before. She was like a devil's advocate. She was in that weird oh. Snow White movie with Sigourney Weaver. Right. Maybe that's what I'm thinking She was in of. some Sandra Bullock movie. And then she was yeah. in the, I know she was in the remake of Night of the Demons. And don't a bunch of other stuff, and no. I think I've seen her at conventions, and I don't know what else she's yeah. done. No. Did she date? Oh man, I think she dated the guy who played John Connor in Terminator Two. Uh, uh, Edward Furlong. Yeah, I think she dated him at one really? point. I don't know. I'm gonna fact I think check you're that. Making things up. <laughs> anyway, you're she's just hot as hell. Different people together. You're like, I think this person dated. That. <laughs> you know what? I think you just want to see people them having sex. That's all you want. You're like, you, you know, know, I don't, don't think I've ever really wanted cool. to see Edward Furlong have sex. To be honest, I, that's, <laughs> that's a that's fucking hard thing in my mind. <laughs> Um, I will say that I'm more of a Kelly Rowland guy than a Beyonce guy. I was a big Kelly Ooh, Rowland. Yeah. I'm a Kelly, I'm when, a Kelly Rowland The height guy. of Destiny's yes. Child, Kelly, Kelly Rowland was my favorite. So seeing her in this, I mean, I will have to disavow her later in the episode, but we're not there well, yet. Well, that's, uh, yeah. Uh, that but was yeah, a, I'm like, improv, I, yeah. Kelly was my favorite. <laughs> Kelly was the best. Uh, but Lori is sad because her mom is dead and her boyfriend left when he was 14 and never said anything. Jason Ritter. Yeah. And, you know, even though they were 14, what they had was real. Hey, it's, I mean, it's, it's possible. It's, yeah, I mean, it's like that. I mean, how many times do you hear the story of like childhood friends and they're in love and then later they get back together? And no. Oh. He, he, <laughs> he seems like a lot better of a guy than most of the dudes that we meet in this movie. That's true. Yeah, so. yeah, he is. Because we meet, we meet Trey and his friend. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know about feng shui, Tom? Yeah, you know about Ugh. feng shui. <laughs> um, <laughs> While he's sipping on a fucking flat, like, yeah, what bro. The fuck? Yeah. Yeah, so and he's a uh, freaking. Right it, like, What's it called? Know. Gibbs' boyfriend is an asshole, and he kind of treats me tell her like you shit. Twice. Yeah, don't make me tell you twice. <laughs> he's yelling at her, and she's like, "What do you see in him?" And she's like, "I don't know," but he's got a cute butt. Can you explain why, why do girls like butts? Can you explain that to me? I think I asked Johanna, and I don't think I got a real good answer. I get why guys like butts. Well, it makes sense. For I, us. I, I, my I, wife I, likes my butt. Huh? My wife likes my butt. Yeah, I've had girlfriends like my butt. And I'm like, but really? Why? She's what? like obsessed you... with it. She likes to smack the shit out of it and squeeze it and do all Okay, let's not get too no, personal I'm just here. Saying, like, 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 you know, like in a, in like a, you like know. A fun, no, but I'm just, yeah, yeah I just never got what girls are like, look at that butt. I'm like, what are you doing with it? Yeah, grant you. I mean, I guess I do it. I guess if you're into pegging, but you know. We're not no, we're not the king no of Rohan. We're not that. really into pegging like he was. No. Uh, that's I a callback to like, Two Towers. Oh, so I think it's it? just like I don't know. Like you don't see many guys with like cute butts. I think it's just like it's fun. It's sexy. Like you think like also kind of my up, exes like, would beg to differ. I don't know. One of my exes just had like a street, like it was like back to leg. Oh no. I swear to God. Hank Hill? With a crank? You dated Hank oh, Hill? It was. it was like I, like it was straight back to back. And I was like. And I would try like to hit, like have fun. I don't know, know where like, because like also got like they'll come up and grab my ass. Why can't I go up and grab your ass? Well, you can. I don't think that was. His, I don't like think that's it. what Tony was I getting just, at. Can, can, I think it's just fun. I so think it's just the, like uh, a cute butt. Can the three percent? Can the three percent female audience of ours a butt to butt? Yeah. Uh, can you explain yeah. why if you're a lady? But why? Like, why do you? Ass, though. That's the thing. That I'm sorry, Tony. I have to keep interrupting you. It's not like a fat. How ass, dare you? How would you feel if someone interrupted you on this show? So anyway, uh, what's, <laughs> we're, we're talking about something yeah. else. We're not talking about like fat asses, though. We're well, not talking fat. It's like a plump. We're not like, talking about Mama Disguisey fat asses. <laughs> like, I don't like, like a guy that pump comes in and like if say like he has I don't want like a, a fat ass or something. Like no, it's like a like nice a bubble butt. Yeah. I'm, by the way, girls two, like bubble butts. Two two perfect. I'm picturing. Yes, that's it. Handful. Like, that's what we like. I'm picturing like, right now. Ah. I'm picturing right now. Someone, like King's Hawaiian rolls. Yeah. Right? yeah. yeah. I'm it's picturing like right now someone <laughs> listening to this on the podcast feed and just hitting forward 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Why oh my God, they're still the talking about asses. <laughs> bup, 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 bup. Let's talk anyway. about Freddy's burn naked ass. Here we go. Anyway, anyway, we can talk about men's asses all day long. And you know what? I intend to. So here's the first. No, anyway. Check um, out Tony's OnlyFans. <laughs> so. Have you seen the Dracula picture? He's got that cake, folks. That's true. Anyway, 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 anyway. That Transylvania cake. Uh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Uh, 
All I want to see is Catherine <laughs> Isabel naked. Is and it is a, stunt boobs? It's a body double. It is really. It's it 100% is? Even, a body even later. Was even later. Yeah. Even later when like she's in the she's in the water closet of. Yeah, I think it's I yeah. think it's stunt boobs. We never see Do the you face. Not, like, does she ever say why? It's I don't like, know. I just know for double? a fact it's a body double. How? How do I you mean, know? Some people don't want to do nudity. Yeah, because you never see her face when she whips those babies out. And it's like, okay, I've seen that before. Oh. I've seen that. I've seen this record. Tony has to load up remember two that girl? screens remember that girl? so they see her face on one and the boobs on the other. Remember the... Uh, does, I think he does do that, actually. Remember the really hot redhead from Star Trek 09 and G.I. Joe, Rachel Nichols? Uh, no. She was the green girl in Star Trek 09, and she was uh, Scarlet in the G.I. Joe movie. I don't remember. All right, well, she was hot as hell. Okay. And then she was in that awful Conan the Barbarian movie with Jason Momoa. Sure don't and remember it, that one. And then it cuts to a sex scene, and those babies come out, but her face is all in the shadow, and I'm like, all I want to see is that girl's naked, and you're showing me some other girl's tits. Yeah, we, this we, isn't... we got Texas Chainsaw Next Generation, you know? Exactly. <laughs> I do want to mention really quick. I, I promise lot... I will never use a stunt cock, Okay. I promise. <laughs> You'll know. <laughs> so anyway, keep going. What were you saying? What is it? <laughs> Flash hack movies? Don't say it on YouTube. Oh, sorry. You just bleep every other word out. YouTube doesn't like that. Oh, only I... spicy site. My spicy, spicy site. site. Spicy uh, Flash hack movie. Anyway, keep going. Spicy I was going to say, Flash I get a lot of hate for saying when I think boobs or females are really attractive or like people I want to fuck, but yet... It's so many episodes you go off about how much, how hot other women are. Why do I get yelled at? Why I do just, I get yelled at? I I don't know. I can't explain these things. I can't explain these things. Let's move. Let's move on. Crystal, the world doesn't make sense. Don't it's, we all the world love doesn't hot naked people? I mean, Joe, yeah. Joe, the world we doesn't make sense. this. Everyone loves poops. Joe, Freddy Joe. Freddie James. <laughs> Joe, the world... <laughs> The world doesn't make sense to me. I need it to make sense. I hope there isn't a Dracula on this Oh, boat. no. <laughs> That's a reference to the last Voyage of Demeter, which yes. should be out by now it by the should, time of this. I think it's definitely out it's by the time this out. drops. Yeah. Overall Movie Dumpster. Check that out. Yeah, check it out. All right. So, uh, Catherine Isabel. Catherine Isabel's. <laughs> last uh, Voyage of the Demeter. <laughs> Catherine Isabel's body double is taking a shower. Yes. Meanwhile, Trey gets stabbed by Jason, who snuck into the oh, house. This, is a, this was oh. such a good one. This is the this is like the first kill of the movie. Yeah. Yes. So he gets and stabbed like, in the back, and I do that. He's like, uh, uh. and then that's Jason's not like enough. Chucking him up, dude, and then he fucking Jason holds, him. holds his him so in half. Good. The kills in this movie. It was are... really good. Yeah. Uh, and then Catherine Isabel, you know, she gets all blood all over her feet, and then she's like, "What's happened here?" Ah! What the fuck do you think? Yeah, when she runs out to the cops, yeah. uh, to that Deputy Stubbs. Deputy Stubbs. Um, I do love that they all, like, you, you're you so used to all these shitty horrors where they're like, oh, no, like, in my head, I was like, oh, no, they're all going to get killed, blah, blah, blah. No, they're smart. They actually yeah. call the run cops, in, and they yeah. run out of the house, and you're like, yeah. Whoa. I think Jason conveniently was just like, yeah, one's enough. Yeah. And walked out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Also, because Jason, the rest of them Jason's got to be the better at being yeah. sneaky. He tracked mud through the house. He didn't Nothing. shut the he door. Just, yeah, the door's open, but there's no big ass Frankenstein's monster footprints walking yeah. through. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, uh, they take them. Well, they they're about to take them in, but the cops are talking. They're like, "Holy shit, it's the same house. It's Freddy Krueger." Don't the you say like, that name. Don't say the name. Great. Now the main character heard it. She's gonna bring him back. Yeah. Um. So yeah, they they bring her back, and they're trying to like they're trying to keep a lid on it. Mm -hmm. uh, doing very poorly by the way yes and Stubbs is talking to her she's like hey they kept asking me about my dreams and who's this guy that they mentioned he's like I'm new I don't know what you're talking about lady shut up lady I wish I could help you but <laughs> how did the guy get folded I get if you're aware of Freddy Krueger and you see a guy folded in half you're like well obviously that's Freddy Krueger no human man could do that mm. uh, but yeah Lori Lori mm. says the name Freddy Freddy and we get a cool nightmare sequence. Yeah, this here. is pretty cool. Very, very trippy and cool. I like, mm -hmm. I like when she walks by all the missing kids photos. Yeah. and they all like look at and her, and they all yeah. like follow her. That's really it's creepy. simple, but like really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because so much of the uh, dream sequences in these movies, starting with three, had to like relate to something personal about the character, which yeah. is fine. That was the first one to do it, really. Yeah, but then you kind of forget that, like in the first two, it was just like, here's a creepy dream. Yeah, Here, nothing really to do with the personal. Room. Yeah, it's more to do with Freddy than yeah. it does with the characters. Yes. Yeah. But then it became like, I'm afraid of bugs. I'm a bug. <laughs> like that, that was like a oh, whole that's thing. Fantastic. <laughs> the Roach Motel. Yeah. I like video games. I'm in a video game. Well, we're talking about, yeah. you know, 
the sixth movie. Yes. <laughs> Which is underrated. Go back and watch my episode. Watch the episode, but... Joe's wrong. But that's... Uh, the Tony, episode Tony's is false. Co- the episode is called Freddy's Dead is Great, Joe is Wrong. <laughs> wow. And people who don't know who we are, they're going to be like, who the hell is Joe? <laughs> who the fuck is that guy? Why I gotta watch this. Matter? Matter? I gotta watch this episode and figure out why Joe is wrong and who he <laughs> that's is. That's the only reason people watch it. Who is Joe? Is that the whole th- synopsis for the for the episode? Yeah, my buddy Joe said this movie sucks, and here's why. It Joe does from it. Movie Dumpster. I don't even think. I think we mentioned you once in that review because I mentioned that I forgot to get the 3D glasses, and then you told me too late, and I couldn't bring them for this episode. Today I said I forgot oh. to get the 3D glasses from Freddy's Dead. Can you bring them so I can wear them out of spite? And you're like, it's too late. I'm I like, was already no! at work. Um, <laughs> speaking of reminding, you told me at, during the Friday or the Halloween episode to remind you, hey, autograph. I think I forgot to tell you. Oh, yeah, it's did there. You do it? It's there. I did it. I did Yay! it. I did it. Thank you for not reminding that I remember this time. Yeah, so, I did good. So she sees a little girl. <laughs> I did it. Well, this is true. She sees the little girl from the opening montage. Yeah. Uh, her eyes are all cut out, which is gross. And she's like, his name is Freddy, and he likes kids. Especially and little girls. Especially little girls. You know, we always see the ghost of these tiny young kids, but we never see him haunting the tiny young kids. Mm. No, we don't. He's always haunting the, the teens. teens. Uh-huh. Yeah. I think they were little at one time, then they grew up, and then he came. That's when he came back. Uh, and then he got a taste for teens. It was like, oh, this is great. Gotcha. That's gotcha. Not crazy. She has that banger line, though uh, warn your friends, warn everyone, which warn I really everyone. like. Yeah. I do like uh, that, yeah. And then it turns into the Freddy house mm-hmm. with the girls jump roading and then Freddy uh, jump roping. They were roading. And, yeah. yeah, jump roading. <laughs> uh, and then Freddy comes up and goes, boo. Ah! I like that he just goes, boo. <laughs> Does he say boo? I thought he just no. I think he and... just growls, but it uh, looks like he's saying boo. Yeah, um, it's a good saying. jump scare. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, I do like that the dead guy's friend is getting yelled at by his dad. Are you <laughs> drinking? You were supposed to watch your sister. Were you drinking? Were you drinking beer? again? My friend just died. Dad, my dad give me like, my, my, my friend got horribly mutilated. Fuck you, dad. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that he's like, I heard him. I heard the cops say his name. I'm gonna get this guy. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get him, Trey. Don't you worry about it. Yeah, he's, Fred he, Krueger was his name. He's like, he's like, he's like a uh, Mac and Predator. <laughs> I'm gonna cut your name into. I'm gonna cut your name into. Do, do, do. Me, you and me. We <laughs> had the same oh moon. And he's drinking the fucking flask. You yeah. think it was? Remember the same kind of moon, same kind of flask. Same I was kind of flask. Out. I'm gonna I get you, Trey. Dude, he was shaving his face before, wasn't he? He sure was. <laughs> so anyway. Uh, I like that we get the return of the goat. We haven't gotten that in a Freddy movie in a while. What the fuck one is that one from? The very first one. Was there's it? A, there's, a, there's like a sheep. And someone told me that was a reference to counting sheep. I'm like, All right, I'll go with it. I thought it was like sacrificial lamb. I don't know. But this time it's a goat. <laughs> to call back to that. And Freddy reveals himself and he turns into a CGI shadow. Yes, he does. Which is kind of neat. Like, it's like something out of Mortal Kombat or something. Well, well, like, how, do you, how do you do this? CG. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. It's fast enough, but I thought it was pretty cool. But yeah. I like that it doesn't work. Yeah. And like, we, not strong enough. We get yeah. what happens. I feel like this part of the, the script is like over explaining things because what's his face is like, I'm okay. I'm all right. I'm all right. Didn't and then Freddy the- goes, I'm not strong. I like that <laughs> Freddy that is ADR. updating us personally. Yes. Yeah. I feel like we're in the movie because he lets us know his backstory. And then he's yeah. looking at. Us, and he's like, I'll be strong enough soon. I'll let Jason have some fun. Who do you think he was talking to in the beginning of the movie? Oh, you know who he was talking to? He was talking to the dream demons. Oh, flying there you camera. go. <laughs> <laughs> the three of them are so <laughs> <laughs> I really want to get that painting from Freddy's It dead. is cool, though. Um, so, yeah, uh, he's not strong enough. And then he wakes up, and I guess Jason cut off the dad's head. Man, he and then with it, precision, and like it, ninja like, precision, like a, with an anime katana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was like it was like one of those Kurosawa <laughs> things where he like goes real fast. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then the dad stood still until he got bombed, and then it got popped off. I do like that the guy uses his dad's head to block the blade. He, oh yeah, uh, but yeah, Jason slices them up. Sure does. Yes, he they're does. dead. Um, and who could give a fuck? <laughs> I think they're like I think he died too or something yeah, yeah. they're no still talking about tra- Trey they never talk yeah. about the alcohol I think they talk about him once they're like by the way they were murdered okay yeah mm-hmm. and then they're saying um, like oh that's bullshit blah blah blah, blah. It, was, it looks like it looks like they reopened Weston Hills because it was closed in part five yeah probably because all those kids died <laughs> uh, but they brought it back I assume the ghost of Amanda Kruger is gone she doesn't show up well we also oh, talk yeah. about her there's like a th- thing with her, with uh, what's her face's mom. 
from being in the house who we find out later. Do we yeah. want to talk about that yet? Uh, we can talk about that later. Like, like, like later or now? We, when it's revealed. Oh, okay. oh, yeah, like oh, when it's revealed yeah, yeah, and it's yeah, like, yeah. oh, uh, that doesn't really line up. Yeah. 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 There's something weird there. I know they Because yeah. they mentioned that like a Will, my, uh, what's her face, is Lori's ex-boyfriend. Lori? Yeah. Yeah. Like Lori oh. Strode, perhaps? How many times they got to throw all this stuff yeah. in? Michael? <laughs> yeah. Um, he's in, he's in there because he said he saw Lori's dad kill her mom. Yes. And they went, you're crazy. Yeah. And they well, sent him. The so dad the threw him in. No. Yeah. So yeah. he didn't have to like. Explain but... it to everybody because they found out how to. Yeah. They yeah. found out if you suppress it, it'll be fine. He's yeah. in there with Mark, who's in a bunch of Uwe Ball movies. Yeah. And so is. fine. The, and so is the guy who plays his brother, I think is also in a bunch of Uwe Oh Ball yeah. Movies. Well, this is a Christmas movie, guys. Because Scott Farkas is in this movie. Yep. I know him more as the brother on Titus. Ah. But anyway. Oh, yeah. And they see the report of the murder on the news channel. Did yep. you see what the call letters were for the channel? No. KRGR. KRGR News. I'm fine with that. It's, we're, it's a Freddy oh, vs. Jason sure. movie. It's cute. It's cute. Yeah. What did you think it was? It took me. No, I didn't Kroger. see it. Yeah, she's like, Kroger's? <laughs> Freddy Kroger's coming. Ah! Here, like you're just saying the letters, and to me, I'm just like letters, letters, letters. Oh, we're gonna make you <laughs> shop. Hope I you like, like groceries. <laughs> I do like the the crazy guy who's trying to play checkers, and he goes, "I'm an Uno guy." So get the fucking get Uno, the fucking board. Uno deck, and we'll play. <laughs> um, Will and Mark, they decide they. Well, M Will's like, we got to get out of here and save Lori. She's in trouble, and Mark's like, okay. It's so easy. Yes. It's, they could have done this at any time and he, just yeah. fucking He pretends left. to be a monkey and farts on some glass. <laughs> uh, and he I'm gets... upset that they didn't use CG to make it fog up. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Did you guys think it took too long, though, to figure out um, their story almost? Because I mean, it's pretty me... It's pretty laid out. No, I like, think they're mean? giving it to, to us enough. But I kept thinking, I was like, did I miss something in other movies? No. It just to me. No. It... This is contained to this yeah. movie. Like, yeah, this, this but, whole backstory. Yeah, but I didn't. For a while, I was like, did I miss something? Did I miss something? Did I miss? No, Wait, no. are they? Yeah, for some reason. He mentions just... early on, he's like, I really missed my family and my yeah. brother. Yeah. But yeah. I'm like, did I, was that shown somewhere else at some time? Like, it took me a while to like They realize. should have connected it to Freddy's dead, and the parents in the picture should have been Roseanne and Tom Arnold. <laughs> and they made Scott Farkas? Yeah. <laughs> that's what came out? Oh, yeah, that's what happens when you mix a Roseanne and Tom Arnold. You get a Scott Farkas. You didn't know that, Joe? <laughs> oh, my God. <sighs> That's like a that's like a combat code. <laughs> Go ahead. So, um, let me see here. So yeah, he gets himself sedated and he lifts the keys off the guy and gets out of there. Again, mm. they could have just did this like whenever if they wanted to leave. They've been yeah. locked up for how fucking long? Ten years? Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, Lori's dad does what Kristen's mom does and pours stuff in the juice. He's putting like sleeping medicine or yeah. something. He's putting hypnocil. Uh, or hypnocil. Yeah. yeah. Hypnocil, yeah. Which, like, because fucking, he knows. We gotta it's... put this Freddy down already. He's back. Yeah. Yeah, he knows it's Fred. Like you, well, you, he does know. It. He's like, afraid he thinks, that it is Fred. Yeah. Yes, I mean he's not. I mean he's not a good guy, but he's not the worst. He's a fucking asshole. He's an asshole, but he at least been he's a little like bit more open. But yeah. I understand why he needed to be so discreet. Yeah, because if if she knew who it was, he wouldn't have. Yeah, but I also like he's we like you gotta that, have yeah. your juice. <laughs> Drink your, your juice. juice. <laughs> <laughs> but at least he's not trying to put her to sleep and like act like hey like you're don't have dreams. Because, like, she doesn't know what's happening really no. yet. Mm -hmm. And it's like, here's a way for you. Like, I wish she kind of knew that, though, because she'd be like, oh, shit, I have some at my house. Right? Well. Because she doesn't uh, know yeah. what he's no, giving her. No, she he, she has she no idea. But she's like, you're a general protect practitioner. We're not there yet. But. Yeah, we're not no, there. No, we're, we're not, not there, there. We're yet. There. But there. I'm curious of, like, hey, if he was, like, up front. I know, like, it totally messes with the movie. But, yeah. like, she'd be like, oh, shit, I got some at my house. I don't think there would be a plot. Yeah, there wouldn't be a oh, plot. Oh, we need plots? <laughs> So anyway, oh, anyway, shit. didn't think about that. The girls reunite and they talk about the new murders. Uh, we meet Linderman, who was a dork. Linderman. What movie uh, was he in? Girl Next Door. Was that the movie with the chick from Twenty Four? He's got a familiar face, but I couldn't. I yeah. couldn't peg him. So they Linderman is a dork, Jesus. and we also meet Freeberg, who is not Jason Mewes. Oh yeah. yeah, they couldn't get Jason Mewes. He, but he looks just like like it is. That's yeah. Ronnie going. Let's make that's the wish let's version. Let's make him. Yeah. Wes Craven got Jane Silent Bob for Scream Three. Yeah. Because <laughs> it was a Miramax picture. Wasn't yeah. It? yeah. Uh, <laughs> he How have they not brought them back for the new Screams? <laughs> they existed that universe. Oh, yeah. 
They exist in a lot of universes. I didn't even really watch the weird. new Jane Silent Bob movie because sure it's did. probably shit. Sure but I'd did. like to see them come back and scream. Yes. <laughs> they are a ghost face. That would be great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. That would be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Jason Mewes is ghost so, Yes. So Lori describes Fred. Uh, Burger. she's like, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. She was yeah, no a different Fred. Well, I don't know. You said Fred. Sometimes they Frederick. call him Fred. A lot of the times in the first movie, they're calling him Frederick Fred. Kruger. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna um, just call, be called Frederick. <laughs> so yeah, she starts Freddy. singing the song, and then Mark shows up finishing the song, and then he tells everyone how Freddy Krueger works. Do you know why they sing that? This is because that's when he comes for you. This is a bad idea. Mark, you shouldn't be doing this. In the fucking hallway full of kids. Like, Freddy Krueger, Freddy Krueger, Freddy Krueger? Yeah. Freddy Krueger. Well, he doesn't yeah. know yet. I do like when he realizes yeah. it. Oh, we fucked up, man. Yeah. Um, yes. So, yeah, and then she sees Will, and she's like, oh, my God. And I think this is when the principal shows up, and it's Robert Shea, I believe. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He usually cameos in these. There you go. Um, so, yeah, they take her to the nurse, right? There was, like, a deleted scene here. There- where she- She's in the nurse's room, and I think there you see like Jason outside the w- window, oh. or sometimes it's Freddy. I think they oh, shot I didn't it both see that times. Oh, that deleted. Where is that in the actual movie? I think that's in the actual movie. Okay, there's like a thing where she's in the nurse's office, and there's a window, and you either see Jason or Freddy outside of it. And they I sh- think they shot it both ways because trailers had the opposite. Uh, they should have did the, uh, what was it? Is it the part three? No, it's the part four. Four thing where, where, where Freddie is the nurse. Fre- yeah, Freddie's doing like his best, <gasps> yeah. like earnest yes. uh, impression of the old woman. Well, uh, there's a nurse in this, and Kia asks her a question, even though there's clearly a sign saying the nurse cannot help you. Uh, and she has an hallucination of her nose being cut off by Freddie. She wants to get a nose job. Got your nose. nose! <laughs> okay. The nose gets so, yeah. cut off, and nothing happens. Yeah, because she not wakes up because he's yeah. not strong enough yet. Uh, but I do like when she was looking through the magazine, like the whole plastic surgery stuff was getting more and more graphic. Yeah. That was pretty cool. That's enough to deter me. I'd be like, fuck that. Yeah. Yeah. No. Um, yeah. It reminds me of the, uh, TLC, the waterfalls music video. Oh yeah. That's I don't a, know why, That like, should have been legit- playing over this loudspeaker. Fuck yeah. Yeah. But then, you know, TLC, Destiny's Trial, <laughs> you know. No, they're, no. yeah. They're, they're, com- they're competitors. They're buttonheads. Um, so yeah, the guys go to the library. To look up uh, old news uh, articles, and they realize that all microfilm, dude. Yeah, all this stuff has been blacked out. Are you all legally allowed to do that? I thought you're not legally allowed to do that. But I mean, obviously, if the to police look up are news? doing it, to look up news, no, to black it to out. Black oh, it out. well. I mean, I mean, if it, yeah, the police officers and shit are. But all if involved, the, the but people like, that are in, in charge of the town are like, yeah, black that shit out. I mean, they're gonna do it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so he realizes they suppressed the town. Town's knowledge of Freddy, and then Mark's like, Oh no, I screwed up. I told everyone about him. Fuck, he's back. And what are they gonna do? Well, obviously, they're gonna go to the rave. I mean, it's a fun scene. It's such a fun scene. Um, Linderman, let your freak flag fly. Linderman gets, uh, you know, he gets a beer bong shoved on him. Linderman. And then uh, he gets bullied by Kia, and then he throws it back in her face. Yeah. And she's kind of into it. Yo, she likes it. They, yeah. in the deleted scenes, they're supposed to have a romance. They kind of they, they, do. they hint they to do. it, but no, it never really. In the deleted scenes, they actually yeah. have yeah. words. And there's when Litterman, spoiler alert, dies, mm. she actually kisses him. Oh, really? Yeah, there's yeah. like a whole thing. I ha- thought she they did. cut out a lot of kissing scenes and romance scenes because mm. uh, Ronnie's like, we didn't need it. Well, it just, it just, well it they just... cut out that deleted ending, which we'll talk about. They, ki- they cut out the part I where Freddie hate... kisses Jason. Now, that was, I feel like that was needed. Oh, wait, yeah. I saw that. Wait, did, was it not that movie <laughs> that I saw it in? I was is this right. a different movie I saw? That was the basis for my fan fiction. Uh, <laughs> it's <laughs> also on his fans. Li- Freddie Hearts Jason. Fans. Yes, that's an actual Braun parody, yeah. So yeah, um, by Freddy the way, Holmes, Jason. if you forgot that this <laughs> yeah. was the early 2000s, did the bucket hats give it away? Oh. The furry bucket hats? There's a lot of when shit. When are those coming away. back? Never, please. I want to look God. like Britney Spears in the early 2000s with a bucket hat. Wouldn't that be cool? How about that? Bring it back. No. Bring back the bucket no. hats. No. Wow. What about that Lincoln Park looking motherfucker? That guy was cool. Um, <laughs> the guy like, with I'm all the gl- my hair. I love the glow again. stick guy. That's what I'm talking about. I have I have oh, a comment about him coming skin. up. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Lori sees Will and they're trying to catch up and he's trying to talk about something that's important and then Kia's like, "Let's dance." And he's I like, know. "Okay." <laughs> and I'm like, "This <laughs> What was it this time? My trash. Your trash this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was from my pumpkin coffee. 
Haley says anyway, pumpkin. anyway. Uh, yeah, he's like, oh, let's dance. Oh, cool. It's like, wait, this is kind of important. Yeah. Do does he? Yeah. I thought Kia, like, takes Linderman and he's, she's like, stop Yeah, no, no, but then she book. grabs doesn't them. She's like, stop it with oh, all this oh, shit. Oh. Let's dance. He kind of, oh, yeah. Doesn't he, like, kind of follow? Like, he doesn't be like, listen, this shit's important. He should be talking and dancing because there's a guy named Freddy Krueger. <laughs> and he's Don't really cool. And uh, he has knives on his gloves. FK. It was doing, FK. Doing FK. This. Frederick. God damn, Frederick. <laughs> Frederick's coming to get you. His, um, his real name is Frederico. <laughs> oh, fuck. Sharpan Joe. That's yeah. um. So they're fucking. Rave, they're rave. they're partying at the okay, rave. Yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, what's her face gets yeah. offended by someone making fun of her. Jason dead. Muse says like, "Yeah, he's fucking gutted, man. <laughs> yeah. like, Trey is fucking." So she runs in the cornfield and she sees Trey. And he's like, oh, he's like lifting himself. I he's like, come on, Jim. See, that's a good. That's a good one. That, yeah. yeah. But there was a deleted scene. Where they showed him walking and his body's flopping all it's, over the place. But they're in the um, when in they're the, in the boiler room, yeah, it looks in the terrible. Doesn't need that. Yeah, and that's then enough. They got it, and they got yeah, it. and yeah. they said it looked horrible. And yeah. they, they wa really wanted to look like work, but they're like it just. It just yeah, this like is shit. the only like classic Freddy scene in the whole movie too. Right. Yeah. yeah. Besides um, him and Jason. and it's cool. It feels like a Freddy thing where like she goes to run away and there's suddenly a wall and I like that the face comes out of the wall, kind it's of cool. like yeah. the original Freddy movie. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and he's chasing her around, and then in the real world, she's look, getting fucked by Lincoln Park, man. Yes, look, if you're gonna be this uh, is it's a creepy if you're scene. gonna be a sexual predator, um, not to give advice, but maybe don't wear the most brightly colored thing that draws the most attention in the world. Tony, I don't know if you know this, but this man's probably on like fucking three yeah. tablets yeah. of ecstasy. Yeah, I'm just saying, if I wanted to be, commit any kind of crime, don't say that. Why are you saying? This. Not just, this I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Said, that none of this needs to be said. No, but I'm saying, no, they're like, well, no. well, he's going to attempt this. No. He's going to attempt this wearing literally. If he's going to attempt the, it, he's going to attempt it. No, just stop talking. I would just, just I would have taken off no. some of the glow sticks. I wouldn't have left every glow stick off. You think this is even a good idea in the first place? Like, no, this is so wrong. That'd be like it me going into a bank with like a black and white striped shirt with like the mask no. and a gun and be like, I'm just here to make a deposit. It's like, no. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I wonder who's robbing the bank. Oh, it's that guy. Yeah, How black are you Bart. comparing these? I'm no, just saying, Tony, he's trying of all the, the people to pull up. off a crime. No, why would you pick the guy up. dressed like that? Surprise is not the job. He's so honestly. Yeah. That would have made more sense. Yeah. yeah, but he's so fucked up, and like it was so it was creepy. It, yeah. I was like, I was not expecting like a uh, basic rape scene. Well, he Look, had listen, to be listen, glowing listen. in the night. So I don't Jason know if it's out it. yet. It's probably coming out after this. I finally watched the Last House on the Left remake, so <gasps> this was tame in comparison. Why? Oh, Actually, oh, wasn't that bad. Actually, it wasn't that bad. I'm sorry. It wasn't that, that bad. But whatever. I wait for the episode. Yeah. I didn't watch it until recently because I thought it was going to be really bad. It wasn't that bad. Anyway. Um, yeah, so he's chasing her when he's finally about to kill her. It's great. She he she like it's opens so the door good. and she's and he's just about to take his first victim and, and her, her fucking chest explodes into his yes, face. Yes, because we find so out in the real bad. world Jason has impaled them. Yeah, but and, it's just so cool. And it throws is. and Mine. throws uh, the, wor the worst rapist in the world she into the air. And I do I do like that yeah. the glow sticks are falling off yeah, him as he's being thrown. But yeah, so he did get his. Yeah, so did this Jason is saved her. <laughs> Yeah, Jason didn't save her. He killed her. Whoops. We talked about went, this in I part went, eight. I, I don't understand. Far. I don't understand Jason saying it's like I have to stop rape, but also I have to kill the potential victim. Like what the fuck, Jason? Hey, at least she <laughs> die with dignity. Oh my god. Well, I don't think um, he was awake for any of it. So. But here is the first Just hint we get mm. at uh, Jason's demonic makeup. He gets a little bit more demonic the angrier he is. You mean you mean Freddy? Freddy. Yeah, Freddy's got yeah, the yeah, sharp, yeah. weird CGI sharp teeth. Yeah, so What's there's up with that so he gets like redder and his ears get pointer and her teeth his teeth get sharper when he's like really angry. You see that like towards the end. It see you see it towards the end. You see in the beginning when he's narrating and they zoom up on him, yeah. he's got it yeah. on. Yeah. Uh, and then in this scene where he's angry, he's got like the demon face. He's on. got the dream demons in there. He's got the dream demon What's face. Up? Not to be confused with the demon face from New Nightmare, which looked like your traditional devil. Which is a totally different face. Totally so different face. So many faces. Yes, he's the man of a million faces. No. What they call the man of three faces. Him yeah. and Pistachio Disguise. <laughs> what the fuck? What was that? It wasn't oh, me this time. This light turned off. <gasps> Is it plugged in? Yeah. Is it just been on too long where it said fuck you? <laughs> Is there a timer? 
Oh, I might have hit a timer earlier. It is a. Oh, it is a. Uh, what is it? A, a mood light. It's a, it's therapy, it's a, it's a, lamp. therapy lamp. Therapy lamp. Support lamp. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> Yes, so yeah, pistachio uh, disguise is there. Yeah, yeah, and then Jason decides, I'm going to kill everyone in the corn maze. He kills those two drunk guys. Well, because they made fun of him. That's what happened. <laughs> he, like, yeah. spins that guy's head around. Hey, that is Jethro, a good head spin. Why did you find a pig to fuck? <sighs> Dude, he spits, fu- or he dumps yeah. fucking Everclear, Everclear on him and lights him yeah. on fire. Yes. And then he's, like, burning the cornfield. And then that guy is running. And for some reason, even though he's laughing, his mouth is closed when he's running. <laughs> <laughs> in slow motion. I don't know why he's running. With his mouth closed and not screaming, but then he gets stabbed with a machete and he spits up all this blood. It's almost as if he had the blood in his mouth and Could it was be. very obvious. Yes. He's like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm. and then he spits it out like a fountain. Like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> I was yeah. like, look, that Jason just threw the flaming machete. This is so yeah, good. Though, this seems cool that yeah. he's like really on fire thing. and he's cutting everyone up. And it was until he like cuts the awesome. beer oh, and it douses he, he, him. Yeah, he yeah. kills one dude, but he also hits the beer and it puts him out. Yeah, it's fucking cool. So, it yeah. was a great massacre mm. scene. Yeah, that is a bloodbath. I Everyone's fucking it. scared of they're Jason right now. They're screaming, they're running. It's um, really fucking What's good. that guy's name? Freddy Krueger, I think. <laughs> I do love when they're in the, the van and they're talking about like uh, the talking about the killings and whatnot and J- not Jason Mewes goes, dude, that goalie was pissed about something. But they're like, no, fuck the cops. Just take me home. Like, I don't know. I feel like you should probably yeah, tell the cops odd. about this guy. Yeah. Well, definitely against Jason, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. Which the cops already know, because we find out later. Stubbs is investigating. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, the machete killer from Cr- Crystal Lake. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Will tells Lori, he's like, by the way, I think your dad killed your mom. She's like, what? <laughs> and right on cue, the dad's there. <laughs> Ta-da! In the rain, right? Yeah. yeah. But then she, like, reveals that, like, yeah, he does work at Weston Hills, and he was hiding the messages. So she's scared of him, and she she escapes out and the he, house. And yeah. he knew Will was there the whole time, and she's like, you didn't tell me, Dad. Yeah, yeah. What happened to Mom? She me death certificate. He's like, uh, no, no. Right Drink guy. your juice. No. <laughs> Drink, your, <laughs> Drink juice. your juice. So yeah, she gets the hell out of there. She re- re- reunites with Will, and then they go to see Mark, who like an idiot fell asleep. Uh, the one guy who's like who knows the whole fucking yeah. history, you know, and he's just like, Man, I guess yeah. I'll take a nap. Well, he didn't. He didn't do it on purpose. He didn't have any caffeine pills left or some no, shit. No, he. Yeah. Well, it's a dream sequence. Oh, he though. drops it down the. Yeah. That's a dream that's sequence, though, yeah. isn't it? It's in the it's dream. Part of the he's, dream already well, he's, he's already asleep. He's already asleep. Oh, is he? Because he's. Yeah. They're probably micro napping anyway, because that happens in this movie. Yeah. Yeah, I think he just accidentally fell asleep. Yeah. I mean, he's probably been trying to. Yeah. So Scott Farkas like, so. is in the bathtub. He is. Uh, yeah, and it's clearly yep. Freddy, but Freddy's not even doing the act really well because he's just like, I hate Jason so much. He's messing up my plan. Yeah. And Mark should be like, who were, what? Wait, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Trying to get them to remember me. <laughs> that one breath always makes me laugh. He just won't stop. <laughs> you um, gotta tell him that it's so, me, yeah. not that guy. But I like that yes. like blood is just squirting out of his wrist the and whole like, time yeah. he's talking. It's pretty good. Um, but yeah, he like Freaks eventually out. pins up Mark and he's like, tell yeah. everyone about me. He's Mark's like, no. like, go fuck yourself. Like, yeah. yeah. He's like, no, I won't do it. I won't and you're do right. It. This scene, we see, um, like these like eels on his feet, uh, or there's like stuff that grow on his oh, feet. That, like, yeah. And he down, screams, yeah. someone yeah. wake me up. But there's the deleted scene where he threw up eels. Up, all they're over. so bad. Yeah, they're bad. They're they had bad. to cut it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so he Oh, leaves. and there was also, I'm sorry. Yeah. There was also, they uh, had a deleted scene where you actually see, Mark actually sees on the computer screen the um, his brother going into the bathroom and getting the razor and doing the whole thing. Oh. You oh. actually see that, but Who they filmed they, him. It, it's supposed to be like a dream sequence, though. Like, oh, 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 he oh, wakes oh, oh. up and he re sees that scene gotcha. where he's freaking out. Yeah. But uh, Ronnie says, no, I, I'm saying Ronnie like he's my best friend. Um, so Ronnie, my bud, Ron. So he, he says that he wanted the audience to not realize it's a dream sequence yeah. right sure. away. Like, yeah. right away. Yeah. yeah. That's always the best when you don't know. It's yeah. I, and I prefer that. Yeah. So yeah, he leaves a message. Freddie's back. On his back. It's on fucking back. cool, man. It's great. Like, like that is a good one. Oh. I do like when he pops up in the window and his he- face gets I slapped. love yeah. that they're watching this. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a CG thing I'm okay with. Yeah, yes. that's fine. Yeah. They're like, fuck this Okay, shit. so yeah, here Stubbs does some, like, investigating. Every He's time like, you say Stubbs, I'm sorry, but every time you say Stubbs, you I think You think barbecue video. sauce, right? Oh. <laughs> or AMC's reward <laughs> thing? Nope. Nope. Who do you video think Video game. Stubbs. Stubbs. With the Stubbs the zombie. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Right? Isn't that what it is? The video Stop games are for children. Oh. I always think about barbecue you sauce. You play as the zombie, but it's Stubbs, and it's... No. Sorry, mm-hmm. I do not play video games. I am an adult. Anyone? You can be Anyone? a Stubbs Reward Stubbs. member and go to the fucking movie theater. <laughs> I am a Stubbs Reward oh, member. Okay. Huh? 
No. Oh, I thought you said something. <laughs> um, so here <laughs> Stubbs sadness. goes to the sheriff and he's like, hey, look, I investigate. I think he got it. And the sheriff's like, no, we know who did this, even though he's never done anything like this before. And yeah. It's totally out of character. Um, and it's totally one blade, not. And four. also the people were. To, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Hi, Space Cat. I hear you screaming off camera. Do you want to be on camera? I didn't hear that. Yo, me and Space Cat are best friends now. What if I'm dreaming and that's actually Freddy? <laughs> oh, oh, hey, sweet lady. Come, Come here. here. Hi, baby. What do you think oh. about Freddy versus Jason? Oh. I don't think she likes it. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know. That kind of. You who's clearly your, don't speak cat. Who's your favorite, Freddy or Jason? Oh, yeah. Who's, who, who, better, Freddy or oh, Jason? <laughs> who's your favorite, Freddy or Jason? I think that was a clear Jason. Okay. So. Here, baby. So what have I been trying to say? Yes. Stubbs tells the sheriff, yeah. hey, I think it's Jason. And the sheriff, I'm just knocking everything out. The sheriff is like, no, it's f some guy. He doesn't say it's Freddy Krueger. He's got four nine fingers. Uh, yeah, he's just some dude that we know. Don't worry about it. He's like, no, it's Jason Voorhees or a copycat. He keeps calling him a yeah. copycat. He because he thinks Jason Voorhees is dead. dead. Yes, because he read, like, oh, Demon Worm went into a vagina right, and right, went right, back right. to hell. Tommy cool, Jarvis right. didn't really happen, but it did afterward. Post Tommy Jarvis, yeah. Yes, yes. Um, so, yeah, he's a little fed up with that. Should we put her down? <laughs> I okay. think that's a yes, Dad. <laughs> She's got to make up her mind if she wants screen time or not. She yeah. never makes up her goddamn mind. No, she just, she got just enough. Ugh, okay. She just wants to make her All right. I miss you already. So, this part's a little confusing. Hold on, I guess I can put my DVDs back now that the cat's gone. This part is a little confusing. Because uh, they're like, even if we leave, Freddy can still get us. And I'm like, thought he was limited to Springwood. Although, his daughter did release him from the confines of Springwood. But did that, wasn't that, I, I believe that would be reversed once he got killed and was sent to hell. And it would revert, revert back to just Springwood. Again. Every town has an Elm Street, Tony. Yeah, but the whole point of Freddy's Dead was he couldn't leave Springwood. So he needed to connect with his daughter, and that's who got him out of Springwood. Right, with the bus going through the, the reality, right? Yeah, because in the beginning, it establishes yeah. he can't get out. Yeah. And then and he's never left Springwood before. I don't think it's Kanan. No, it's Kanan. Oh, it's not. Freddy's Dead is Kanan. They show footage of it in this film, this motion picture, so it is Kanan. Okay. Kanan. It's kind of well, he's not okay. dead. Huh? Clearly. Yeah, but I'm guessing when he came back, mm. did it revert back to the original rules of only Springwood? Gotcha. Because now they're saying it's he can like follow It's not like a Charles us. Lee Ray situation where if he gets a new body, he can... Yeah, but yeah. I'm just like, if he can leave Springwood, he wouldn't be here right now. I, he would have went anywhere. I guess. Anywhere. He's got a thing for the whores in this house. <laughs> yeah, they bring that up <laughs> later on. Um, Stubbs finds the kids, and I do like that he's like the Scooby van... Uh, was a dead giveaway outside. Yes. Uh, and he tells them the story of Jason, but it's not backed up with any visuals because, again, we don't have the rights to those films. Uh, and they're like, okay, what are we going to do? And they come up with plans, and then we don't realize we're in a dream sequence because then it turns into them talking about sacrificing virgins. Wait a second. If Freddy f died by fire and Jason by water, how can we use that? I don't think they end up... I know fire and water is used in the end, but not to really mm. undo them. Yeah. Not um, much. It's just set pieces. Well, maybe Jason, oh. but... Yeah. yeah. But, um, yeah, then they come up with the sacrificial virgin thing. And oh, like, and the boyfriend, and yeah. the cat, like, the why would rolling you, character, like, when they want to fuck each can, other. Yeah, like, why someone would you, like me. Yeah. And I was like, I know Kelly Rowland, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, back in 2003, I'd be like, why not boo? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I like that Linderman's like, it counts if you pay for it, which I agree, because I've never had sex with anyone that I didn't pay for it with time. Energy and money. Energy, money. Specifically money for you? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's just, in a different way. I love when I love when people try to like. Uh, you probably pay for sex. I'm like, who fucking has it? Also, like, who Man, cares? find me one guy who hasn't paid for sex with either time, energy, or money, and I'll show you someone who doesn't exist. <laughs> what? I'm glad you agree. What, <laughs> what is like time though? <laughs> like, what the actual time of fucking? Like, what no, no, all the shit that leads up to it. <laughs> He's talking about putting time and effort into a relationship. Yeah, having sex and then figuring out that it's not a good relationship. <laughs> Or no, just just any sex in general. Oh, okay. See, that's what I thought he 
true. You got you got to like, go out. You got to no, impress them over. No, that's not true. You can just put on your glow stick outfit. I and could just rave put my you know what? <laughs> Fuck it. I have such a bad time dating. I'm just gonna put my glow stick outfit and You're go into the court. You're giving people tons of advice of saying just don't put on glow sticks. I'm just making a joke. I don't endorse it. Look, look. If you're gonna commit crimes, don't wear a glow stick outfit in the dark. <laughs> this is it, any crime. It defeats the purpose of committing a crime in the dark. You want to wear black if you're gonna commit a crime in I the dark. I think he was gonna do it if it was dark or not. I don't know. I just. <laughs> I think he was like, "Oh shit, look." I think he was fucked up on drugs, is what I. You think? Yes. Oh. I just would have taken at least some of them off. But anyway, anyway, <laughs> it was a quickie. This turns out to be a dream. Yes. Freddie gets in her face and he's doing his tongue thing. He's like, ah. "Oh, I love this because like her doesn't is this the part it's with her the dad? dad first? Yeah, and she's like, your dad will always be here for you. Look at me, she's gonna kiss me. Oh, like, ah. yes. <laughs> that was fucking gross. Oh, uh, but she rips his ear off. Yep. Yeah. And out. then in the real world, it's there, and it turns into maggots. Boogie, boogie, boogie. Yes. Um, they're like, well, that's fucked. Um, they decide they're going to go to Weston Hills and get a bunch of hypnosil. Yeah. That's they, still they, not FDA approved, even after all this time. Because you don't, they're like, why would you tell everybody what it's for? Mm. It's True. to keep Freddy away. <laughs> But yeah, they, who's excuse? that? Freddy Krueger, and then he gets power for more powerful. They I break in for other things like people are just having like really bad PTSD in their dreams or something. Oh, I guess maybe like yeah. for nightmares. Period. Nightmares. Exactly. How yeah. many people have constant nightmares? Actually, are you having a nightmare on Elm Street? Take hypnosil. <laughs> yeah. I'm just fucking out. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> down. Uh, they break into West. They break back into Weston Hills uh, to steal the hypnosil. The stoner decides it's a good time to light one up. Because he's a stoner. Remember, getting high will get you killed in, into a dream state, I guess. Look, I never understand that. Like, maybe doing some coke? That makes sense, right? Huh? But, like, if you did some cocaine. I know what cocaine is. No, I'm saying that makes more sense, like, to stay awake and stuff. This guy's lighting up a fucking joint. Oh, no, he's just lighting up because uh, he's a stoner. Yeah. He's no, not trying to stay awake. No, I know, yeah. but I'm like, yeah. this fucking guy kills you in your dreams, so let's yeah, take the thing that's going to put me to sleep. He doesn't think... think he's smart? He's lighting <laughs> up a joint in this place. You think he's smart enough to realize that? This will chill me out. He's By the way, I, He's I feel, just, like, along for the ride. He's I feel like, bad. Murder. I feel bad for the guard of the asylum who's just... <laughs> inching his way up to the door and Jason is just, just like, knocking on it like King Kong yeah. like bang bang and Flatten then it cuts back out. to him and he's just flat yes <laughs> um this is the uh he, he, so he's smoking this joint yeah I love this scene though and he's like you know he's high as fuck now anytime that you've smoked marijuana have you ever saw a giant caterpillar climb up next to you with a fucking hookah every time smoking marijuana everything starts spinning and I throw up because I have bad motion sickness. and then you fall asleep and I fall asleep. Or yeah. you just like fuck up edibles, like intros. Edibles, we've seen, yeah, we've say, seen what happens on yeah. edibles. Now, edibles, I don't hallucinate anything. Although you hallucinate at that, huh? when you smoke weed. Huh? You hallucinate when no, you smoke I don't. weed? Okay, no, I don't. Okay, I'm saying nobody does. Cause, yeah, it's not a hallucinogen. It's no. just, I guess it just like puts you into a dream. You're just not fully awake, I guess. I will say at that live show, they kept doing this running bit with, where someone would come out in a Vladimir Putin mask and we had to yell sanctions at them. Uh, and at one point it was right behind me. And again, I was so out of it. I got, I looked around and saw a guy in a mask and I was like, <gasps> I was like so scared of everything. Being happening. scared and paranoid is one thing. Yes. Yeah. That was, I feel bad for anyone who happened to be at that bar that night. And they're like, who is this room full of assholes throwing imaginary sanctions at a guy in a booth mask? <laughs> uh, I have great friends. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah. So the Freddy, the Freddy Kinda. Pillar comes out and lights one up with him. Freddy Pillar, yeah. Uh, yeah and goes into him. Meanwhile, we find out they... What was that? It's definitely more of like an acid trip. Yeah, but I'm just saying, mm. like, nobody nobody trips smoking weed. No. Like, why, why be like, what the... F this is... Something's happening. Yeah. There's a fucking giant worm here. Um, But yeah, they, then they find the kids who are overdosed on Hypnosil. Uh, With their eyes bleeding and shit? Yeah, well, they're not bleeding yet. They're just yeah. bandaged up. But then when Freebird goes in the room, they're all, like, standing up and pointing to where the thing... And then the one guy is bleeding. Yeah. Because they uh, want because Freddy's trying to coerce him to, like, dump the hippie yeah, cell down the but drain. But he resists, so then Freddy just goes into his body and just possesses him and dumps all the hypnosis. Yeah. <laughs> just destroys all of it. Uh, I like that Jason interrupts uh, Stubbs and uh, Linderman. Yeah. And, like, Linderman's scream. Is so good. 
Oh, poor baby. Ah! <laughs> He's like, wait, dude, don't dump that down the drain. Ah! Yeah. And then fucking uh, Jason like misses Stubbs and hits the control yeah. panel yeah. And, yeah. and like is electrocuted Electric. and grabs Stubbs and just fries his ass and then throws him <laughs> into the panel. I wasn't expecting that. I was it's not great. expecting them to die that fast. That's I was like, good. oh, shit. They're, oh, all- they're all running out. They're all running out, yeah. but Freeberg is staying. <laughs> and they're like, come on, man. But I like that it's actually Freddy's Freddy. voice. He's like, let me handle this bitch. I got this bitch. J- Jason Ritter was just like, what? Yeah. Okay. He was like, yeah, sure. Cool, buddy. Yeah. I like that he drugs Jason and then a, a, the, for a moment, Freeberg like wakes up yeah. and he just gets sliced in yeah. half. It's such a good bisect too. Yeah. Although it has that chop, this has that choppy slow-mo. I wish the movie didn't have the choppy slow-mo. There's a few shots like that. I'm like, why are we doing this? That was big in the 2000s. Hated it. Hated Gladiator it. had it. We just yeah. talked about uh, King Kong had it. But it never. Lord looks, of the Rings has but it. But it never looks good. Just do the fucking regular slow mo. I know. Yeah. yeah. Shoot it, it right. Bother. Yeah. It didn't bother me that much. It's it's a cool bisection. It's, yeah. it's, it's really a cool, cool kill. So uh, Jason is pissed in the dream world that Freddy pretended to be his mom. Oh yeah. She's like yelling at him, and he's like, Ooh, and then it's like, joked on you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so She's they, dead. <laughs> So they they have a little dream battle. This and is I, weird. This is cool, but it's, it's so like cool, but it's, it's it's the dream world. So everything is like overemphasized, yes. right? Yeah. And you're like flying a thousand feet when you get well, hit. I shit. like I like that he cuts Freddy's arms off. He's, He's like, like my, my arm, my and then he grows them right back. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the pinball sequence is That's pretty funny. I just keeps knocking around. Tilt. But then Freddy. He's just like, why won't you die? And it's like, well, you know he can't die. Yeah. That's why you brought him back. Yes. Why wouldn't you like put him in like a happy dream to keep him calm? Yeah. Because he's trying to kill him because he's just done now. But he's he like, knows he can't guy. kill him. Well. Maybe send him back to hell. Yeah. Maybe he thinks he's just over that. Like normal people can't kill him, but he can kill him. Yeah. How did he know about his mom but didn't know that he drowned? I think he knew that he drowned. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. That's what I'm wondering. Ooh, it's a little bit of a plow, but it's fine. Good, so, good so point. we'll get to that in a second. Yeah. In the real world, they have him in the van. Their plan now, which they've done several times in these films, is to go into the dream world and grab Freddy and bring him out into the real world. And bring and bring Jason back to Crystal Lake. Bring, for some Jason yes. back to Crystal Lake. The hopes is that they fight. Jason wins and he'll be at Crystal Lake and he'll be fine. They don't know. The lake. They don't know that Crystal Lake connects to the ocean. That's right. And that yeah, and yeah, that yeah. Jason is known for leaving Crystal Eight yeah. to go, go to cities like Manhattan. Manhattan. They're, they're not gonna, aware of that. They, they're, yeah, yeah. they're 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 aiding his addiction yeah. to go to the city. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then they're like, okay, he'll have home field advantage. <laughs> Question mark, dude. Yeah. Uh, the real world is home field advantage. Wait, yeah. did baby baby Jason happen? Already? It's about to happen oh, right, right now. So back in Jason. the dream world, the water comes down, and then yeah, there it is. Okay. Even though we've seen adult Jason in all these films never be scared of water once, he, in fact, in he loves to yeah. swim. He yeah. goes on boats, as yeah. we learned. He does the killing in the water. He was at the bottom of a fucking lake for two movies. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But apparently, his subconscious is his inner child is afraid of water. In his and dream. drowning, yeah. He's dreaming. You think after being like blown up and all that other stuff, you have different fears of death, but I guess yeah. it's still just the drowning one. And it turns into little baby Jason and why calls him a little of, shit. Why are you scared of dreaming if you can't breathe? If you don't need to breathe? I don't know. Anyway, I think Did I say dreaming or drowning. Drowning. Said, oh yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. I do like that he brings up his dead mom's head. That's pretty mean. <laughs> oh yeah, and he's like shaking <laughs> it in front of him. Only a mother <laughs> could love. <laughs> Like well, yeah, then he goes I love more. when he puts his fucking finger into his head. Yeah. yeah. And then he sees Jason's dream world. I guess. Yeah, that was this odd. But a- it's going yeah, the the blade's yeah. going into yeah. his brain. And Jason and dreams about having a little shed on a lake, even though he's supposed to be scared of water, and mm. then he puts souls into a closet. Question mark. Yeah. That's always a little weird for me. Yeah. Um, I like I like how they do the the flashback to the him as a kid though. Yeah, because it's like how to get around that. Yeah, without so, having to show clips from the other movies. Yeah, so Laurie goes into yeah. the flashback, yeah. the fifties, which is cool, and you see them bullying Jason. I like that they put a sack, sack on, his, on head. his head. I'm yeah. like, okay, yeah. that's pretty funny. I guess yeah. that's where he got that idea. Yeah. I know, I'll wear a potato sack. Yeah, but then she goes to the counselors. There's someone drowning. He's like, I'm a little busy. He's like, aren't you coming? <laughs> it's not my fault. This bitch is dead on her feet. It was, it was it was cool to see Freddy in a Crystal Lake uh, I did, like, shirt. Yes. But he's wearing 
the, the shirt over the sweater. Yeah, which no, that's thought, fun. Like, that's okay. fun. I like I that. I thought that was fun, too. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I think this was a fun scene. Yeah, so he starts drowning Jason, which drowns him in the real world, mm-hmm. which, again, would that kill him? I don't think so. Because it hasn't before. It's incapacitated him. But it leads to a fun scene mm. where they're like, we have to give him mouth to mouth. <laughs> and only Kia. I like I like it. I have asthma. Kia, he's got asthma. You got to do it. <laughs> yeah. Poor Kelly Rowland. I know. Poor Kelly Rowland. Oh, uh, yeah. So she saves Jason. Jason. Wakes- Not really. He wakes up before she does it. Yeah. And then yeah. he like. And then Linderman like shoots the gun and then yeah. Jason Ritter pulls off the road in the fucking van. Flips, yeah. And, and then, then we get a CGI yeah. Jason like uh, Jason. Falls out, falls of, the out of the thing. And he's he's yeah. thrown from the van. He throw. He gets. He gets thrown, but he kind of like slows down midair to pose, <laughs> and then goes away. <laughs> Matrix. Yes. And then in the dream world, Freddy's mad again that he couldn't kill Jason. And then he goes full demon yeah. mode. Yes. You. And I like this where it gets all red and stuff. In the trailer, it looked how it actually looked with yeah. like the stuff, but like for this, they made it all red, and mm-hmm. he's like full on demon yeah. Freddy. Oh, he does. A, he does a full fucking Neo out of the yeah, yeah. dude. Um, so yeah, he, then he goes back into her like backstory, uh, where this, it shows like mm-hmm. that he was the one who actually killed her mom. Now this is the part where it's like, oh wait, so you were back 10 years ago in the same house and you killed the mom? Yeah. He's, Why he, didn't he kill her? He doesn't usually go for the adults. That's what I mean. Yeah, I know. Unless maybe she was thinking about him or something. I'm not sure. She read it in a newspaper. Yeah. But then again, he explains why he likes the house. He just likes the whores that live in this house. There's some he did say in that. this house. Yeah. There's some whores <laughs> in this house that I like. That's it, because I always call it the Freddy house. I'm like, oh, it's not actually his house. No. I'm like, he just likes the broads in that house. Yeah. yeah. And that one hot guy from part two, I guess, yes. he liked him too. <laughs> yeah, he did. Mark? <laughs> was that his name, Mark? I think so, yeah. I think so. Um, no, or at least it was, I think it's Mark in real man. life. I forget. I think it's Mark in real life. <laughs> I think it's Mark in real life. <laughs> See, so yeah, I do like this scene where she's running away and the floorboards come up and he's yeah. like ready to kill her. He's like, like Welcome, tremors. Yeah. Welcome to my world, bitch. <laughs> and then he's like, the first time gets get messy. A little, a little, first oh, time a little my messy. Gosh. Yeah. And he's he's cutting those sweet tits. I'm like, oh, buddy, oh. could you spare them at least? Could you spare them? Um, Freddy is a hornball. Like, yeah, he is. Holy shit. He's got that horny fucking mm. burnt sausage dick, man. Yeah. Well, I do like in the real... Fuck. I do like in the real world they're trying to wake her up and like Jason's there and Linderman has the American flag like he's fucking yeah. like he's fucking Mel Gibson in the Patriot Run, and about to through, stab yeah. him and then he gets thrown into yes. a shelf and yeah. he gets impaled <laughs> uh, but luckily her hand falls into fire which doesn't bother her the rest of the film no no and it doesn't. that brings Freddy into the real world and I do well, like she when Freddy she grabs him and comes back yeah. I do yeah. like when Freddy looks terrified oh yeah he's like oh shit. <laughs> Uh, and this is round three, I bl- or round a, two. He's a nimble little motherfucker, man. He's yeah. bopping and locking all over the place. He's throwing kicks and elbows. So yeah, he's yeah. jumping and stuff. Yeah. Do you know who did some of his stunt double work? No. Ray Jean-Claude Mysterio. No, Ray Mysterio. Ran out of here. Yeah, I no. saw him in the credits uh, when I looked this up a while ago. And I'm like, Ray Mysterio was Freddy's body double That's in this for like fantastic. the jumping stuff? I love that fact. Well, That's who's real. that jumping out the sky? R-E-Y, Mysterio. Oh yeah, there I know you go. that. Yeah. I like that theme. I don't like the Booyaka Sha theme. I don't uh, like that one. Uh, but anyway, um, so I do what? like I do like when Jason like gets the machete in the thing and mm-hmm. Freddy's laughing at him, hitting him in the balls. Yeah. Uh, I do say I feel bad for Freddy through this entire fight <laughs> because let me say why. Freddy puts so much effort into everything he does. Yeah, he and has Jay- to. It's yeah. Jason. But like even in the dream sequence, everything, every little thing, when it's like Jason and Freddy. Freddy is just like so over the top and Jason just exists. Yeah. Jason puts out, it's like the tortoise and the hare. <laughs> but, like Jason's just like, oh, here. I slash, feel like slash, slash, slash. They had to give Freddy some kind of fighting aesthetic. Mm-hmm. Right? Like, it's like, okay, well, here's the big, here's the big brawn guy, yeah. uh, clearly. And like, Freddy's never been the dude to like literally like fight Physically, people. Yeah. yeah. So he's got to be that little nimble Spider Man. He fought the yeah. Dream Master. Oh. Thank you very oh. much. Question mark. Someone like should have got a mirror and put it. <laughs> I, still, I still feel bad for all the energy Freddy is putting out there. And he's like, 
Like you feel, I don't know. I feel for him. He's putting his heart out there. Here, I, I, he is putting his heart and soul. I'm sure. Into I, this. I'm sure you are literally the only person with that take out in <laughs> now, the Crystal. World. Crystal, in the deleted scenes, because I'm a little confused here. Maybe, maybe you can clear it up. Okay. Uh, so Jason grabs Freddy. Yeah. And then throws him through the window. Mm. And there must have been a deleted scene where Freddy got tangled in some wires because there's a supplier just coming off Freddy as he gets thrown out the window. I was yeah. gonna say, I what love, happened there? I yeah. love this scene. Yeah. Because Jason picks him up and like runs him through yeah. all the different windows. I'm just confused where this wire is. It's almost know. as if it's a wire meant to suspend a man no, in no, the no. air. It's a dream wire. Yeah. Oh, it's a dream wire yeah. in, in the, the real, real world. world. He brought yeah. it out of the dream. Oh, gotcha, yeah, yeah, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. Did you miss that? Came with I him. guess I missed it. I guess I missed it. It came with him with the harness and everything. <laughs> yeah. uh, but I do like that Jason just throws him across the it's camp. Great. And then, like, the building falls on yes. Jason. It's an intense last act, man. Yeah. Like, I love it. We're just, it. here we go. It's, it, and it's exactly what Ronnie wanted. Well, this is what Ron. we all wanted. We wanted to yes. see Freddie and Jason beat the shit out of each other. Yes. But Whoa. they, ta they take is, a break yeah. to show Linderman dying for way too long. Well, yeah. this is also where they had a kiss scene, too. Yeah. Which would have made that. it even longer. Yes. Yeah. They, like, cut on that, and I'm like, he's dead. Yeah. He's he's dead. Well, no, you and then they pan, pan on like, the blood. No, I'm really like, no, dead. I got it. He's dead. Yeah. We, we, got it. we saw the fucking thing go through. Yeah, we got his it. Uh, we got it. liver or his yeah. kidney or whatever. And that's like, I feel like the only time you're really trying to feel for a character because so many of the characters just die. You don't yeah. really feel for them or linger on their dying. Um, the only one you really. It depends. Yeah. Who do you see that like they're lingering on the death, like them dying? I think Jason Mewes gets they, they like pan around his dead corpse. That's true. And what's her face <laughs> is just like. Looking at it like, holy shit. Well, I mean, the first I movie, like the shot, first movie, like, the guy had to watch his girlfriend being sliced up in the air. Yeah, that's such a good scene. And then, Don't and talk then, about a better movie. And then poor Nancy had to watch uh, fucking Johnny Depp's fountain of blood shoot all over the I place. I don't mean oh. in, like, all of them. I'm saying specifically in this one. Oh, okay. It's yeah. like it's like the one, like, because I feel like they're trying to do some type of character development, and mm. you're seeing, like, oh, one of the main characters dying, and they're trying mm. to put emphasis on it. No, 100%. But, like... It doesn't work. It, well, I think I think actually the char the char the human characters in this movie are done well enough. Yeah, they're, but I think they're fine. Not like, you know. but what I'm trying to say is like they don't. I don't feel like they needed it to be that long. Like it was just like okay, he's dead. Like mm. there's other characters that I felt more for. I didn't really care about that now, character as much. Yeah. Now we have something important to talk about. Oh shit. They're trying to get on a boat to get away. Mm. To to Manhattan. Because Jason's never been on a boat before. Oh, the dinghy's going uh, to the to the big boat to yeah. go to Manhattan for sure. Uh, uh, and then Freddie goes to stop them, and then Kia comes up with a great plan. She's going to be super homophobic. And now, you know, I loved Kelly Rowling and Destiny's Child, but when I heard her say this in the theater, I remember standing up going, cancel Kelly. That's it. I'm listening to 3LW. Cancel, yeah, cancel <laughs> Kelly. And we're like, what does he mean cancel? What is he talking about? I, that's how ahead of the curve I was. What kind of f Yeah, I love when people bring up this scene. I'm like, ooh. I bet she, at the time, it was accepted, and she probably it thought it was great. Yeah. But also, it people feels like- People said that word willy-nilly all the time. Yes. Yeah. It, it really wasn't until more in the recent time where. Yeah, you should you have know? seen early episodes. I'm cutting Crystal saying it like every other line. I'm like, Unreal. Crystal, could you relax? You just got to cool it with that, okay? Would you relax? <laughs> and I don't even want to say what Johanna word I had to cut yeah, out the of two hers. girls that are actually by. Yeah. Yeah. Well, pff, Johanna was dropping some bombs. I'm not going to say what they were. I was like, Johanna, look, I'm very famous and important. I cannot. Your 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 problematic nature will not bring me down. I have to cut you out. Sam. You said the f word, and look what happened. Yeah, he came back. Freddy Krueger's back. <laughs> I'm down. I remember there was an episode where Joe said the n word. Nazgul. Yeah, I, yeah, I did. <laughs> it's a callback. So to ashamed of myself. <laughs> so anyway. Uh, by the way, the thing that's funny about this is that it seems like she's improv I was like, uh-oh. She is improv that, oh, that was the whole thing. Uh-oh. Yeah, and it was like, <laughs> going. Also, I don't think Freddy is, I think he's fine with uh, homosexuality. He was trying to enter the body of a gay guy in part two, so I think he's fine with it. Yeah. He was definitely uh, he dreaming about that. it. You know? yeah. 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 He yep. makes that whole scene when he's in the shower with the, <laughs> yes. with the coach. With the coach, yes. But uh, no, her insults always kind of sucked. Yeah. Well, what's with the butter knives? Are you compensating? Jason's got that big old thing. And it's like, all right. Yeah, why are women allowed to make fun of guys' dick sizes? Doesn't that count as body shaming? Care to comment? 
Oh, I'm, I, I Women wasn't. Women are very comfortable making fun of dick sizes. I'm like, yeah, but you guys are anti-body shame. You don't choose your dick size. You really want to get into this? Because it really hurts your feelings. That's why. I'm just saying. Out of yeah, but all you can We get full comments over every aspect. Yeah, but what I'm saying house. is, what I'm saying is, a woman can make fun of a guy's dick, si dick size and because not get kicked off social media. You do the opposite thing; you're kicked off of everything. Like her dick size, <laughs> dude. My dick and balls are bigger than both y'all combined. We already knew this. <laughs> the way Tony was explaining that was very fuzzy. I had to clear. No, that up. no, no. Women are always like, "Don't body shame." We gotta kick all these guys off, but they're like, "You have a small dick." It's like, well, that's body shaming, isn't it? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> not me. I'm talking about guys with small dicks, not me. Not <laughs> but me. there's another thing of like, like, oh, that, like that comes from like guys that act like they got the biggest dick, or they say that they got the biggest dick, or something like that. Usually have then... the smallest dicks. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I've never that, claimed. That's I've, the whole thing. I've never once but been yeah, like, yeah, I got to like act like they got the biggest boobs or shit. Mm. Like that doesn't. No, make... guys, what you well, do is you say no. it's small. That way they lower their expectations. Then they're surprised <laughs> when they find out <laughs> that no, it's a total. Or how about you just don't fucking mention it and don't send me a dick. Pick, cause I don't give a fuck. It doesn't help. Well, that's pretty. That's pretty confident. If somebody well, what else was I pick? supposed to send you for your birthday, Crystal? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Why didn't I get one? Well, my birthday's coming up, Tone. I'm gonna be waiting. All right, I'll put it on the list. But there is, there is small dick humiliation out there. Sure. So, and there's some guys that are like, that oh, like some guys like, pay for it. Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> on my fans, Lee, I do dick ratings. Oh my god, <laughs> it is fantastic. You know how many guys are like. Can, can we do small dick humiliation? And I'm like, bring it on, baby. You're, just, you're probably not going to admit this, but I want to know yeah, like I'll how totally how accurate are you? Like, do you just like inflate their egos, or are you like serious about? It? Are you like really critiquing it? You can't lie too much because guys will be like, I know you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> no, they already say I know you're lying, and thank you. Like, I actually get that comment. They're like, look, but I'm going to pretend look, like it's. Yeah. I look. have a lot of like. There's a lot of like. It's I, mm. guys, so guys. Many we could talk about dicks all day long. Like we could talk about butts. But yes. we got to get back to, we well, got to get back to Freddy versus Jason. Well, that sure was a lot of talk about dicks. <laughs> sure I think was. we came to the conclusion that 3 inches is perfectly healthy <laughs> and a fine size. Speak for yourself. Now, just know how to use it. Kia, no, shut up. We're moving on. <laughs> Kia gets killed. Jason, even though she's defending Jason, Jason oh, kills her. Look behind you. Yeah. Uh, by the way, if I was Freddy and saw Jason lurking behind her, I wouldn't, like, be I'd cheeky. I'd be like, ah! <laughs> uh, so they fight again. Yeah. Yes, by do. the way, she when when he hits her, he, like, bats her across the forest. Yeah, and she is yes. a fucking, fucking tree. Yeah. Yes. Um, Freddy's hands lazily fall on some tanks, and they shoot off. Those are the worst tanks in the world. Mm. If you could just get a little... I mean, they have been sitting there for quite some time. No, I think they're new. Because we see that Crystal Lake is being renovated to be a condominium. Uh, a oh, condominium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, phew, man, I feel bad for the guy building that project coming up the next day. What is going on? <laughs> well, what happened? It's exploded. Everyone's dead and on fire. <laughs> uh, so Damn yeah, kids. they have another fight scene. Um, before we get into the big fight, Will is like, all right, let's get on the boat and get out of here. And he's like, you got what you wanted. He's here. They're going to fight. Let's leave. And she's like, no, he killed my mom. I need to see him die. He ruined our lives. We got to watch him die. And if I was Will, I'd be like, you're Who's... right. You need to see that. <laughs> yep. Goodbye. <laughs> yep. But they, but I don't know. Like, can you just row away from that and be like, oh, I'm good? I would. Like, No, no. But like, can Freddy get back into the dream world? Look, look what happened during Halloween. Was he actually dead? No, they didn't see the ash. Six times. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. yeah but I don't know. You have Freddy's... to confirm the deaths. Yes. Always confirm that they're dead. Freddie doesn't know how to get back from Jersey to Ohio through the woods. Only Jason can do that with his woods powers. <laughs> and Jason clearly knows how to get to Manhattan. So, like, mm. come on, guys. I don't trust this shit. Uh, yeah. So he's launching torpedoes at him. They're fighting the construction site. At one point, when Jason gets all the spikes in him, yeah, Jason rebar, looks up yeah. and you see the fleshy eye, like the makeup has moved down too much. Oh, has it really? Yeah, you can see the flesh that. on his eye. But they, like, this is when the blood really starts to spray. They're mm -hmm. hacking each other up. Yep. It's so cool because, yeah. like, they're on the dock and they're, like, fighting and they're st and Freddy's stabbing their shit out of him yeah. With, yeah. His, with his thing. And this is, like, Kill Bill era blood yeah. spray oh, yeah. all over the place. Mm -hmm. It's uh, just, like, a full... I yeah, like I like, like Freddy gets to use the machete, and I like that he like cuts him with the blades and then hits him with the machete at the same time. Yeah. I like how he cuts his fingers and this and the machete falls out. Yeah, of Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. 
And then I don't like this part. I don't like the blades right into the eyes. Oh, man. No, those I don't like. I wonder, but J- I think Tony, Tony, I thought you loved. No, I eyes. don't. No. Doesn't Jason pop up later with his, both of his eyes intact? Yeah, though? it's a little yeah, confusing. He, he, he got does. that power from Michael Myers, the uh, eye growing back power. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it was just to the left of it and the right of it. Yeah. <laughs> so while this is happening, they're spraying the dock or the pier in gasoline. Which, Which doesn't really make sense because the thing that blows up is like so far away yeah. from where they are. It really is. It really is. It's not like they were like on top of it yeah. or going to walk into it. So yeah, they're Explosions like. Explosions are uh, always realistic in movies. Well, yeah. I just mean like the proximity of them, mm. you know. All explosions of every aspect of them are very realistic. <laughs> so I like I like Don't. that like Freddy, or Jason like punches his hand into Freddy's heart and rips yes. his arm off. Yes. And then Freddy like stabs the machete into him. And then Lori runs out, tits jiggling. Oh, yeah. With the flame. I'm just like, all right, lady, you're really being a little extra for this one. Uh, and just blows them up into what the is water. She, what is she? No, she said, what's, her, what's the banger? Walk with the mine. Uh, th- that's coming yeah. up next. That's oh. coming up next. Uh, so, yeah, blow, blows them up into the water. They think everything's done. And I like this fake out where you think it's Jason. And then it zooms up and it's Freddy. And then Jason He's got uses, the machete. Jason uses the Freddy blades so on Freddy. It's so good. Through his chest. Yes. And then she goes, welcome to my world, bitch. bitch. Oh, yeah. And then slices his head off like they did Mrs. Voorhees. Yes. Gotcha. And then there's like this weird understanding between her and Jason. It's like, you just, just killed like, your I best friend. Tired. Yeah, that's what I think. <laughs> but then she's, she's like, like I'm she's like, here you go. And she drops the machete and it's just like. Well, like after he sinks, then she like throws it back in the water. I'm pretty sure. So he can kill again? I don't know. She's not going to be she hates the deal. Kim it was Crystal the Lake. unspoken deal. I know oh. she hates Freddy, but Jason killed a bunch of her friends. Like he actually, no, he killed all of her friends. But Freddy influenced him. Yeah, he was under the influence. He's forgiven. Yeah, but but this isn't like he's a mindless robot. He is also a murderer. But it's like him or her. I guess. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Yes. Like, why Why did she throw it back? I don't know. Yeah. But anyway, it ends, fades out, and we get that whole, like, dreamy, yeah. dreamy lake scene with, like, the fog everywhere, and he comes out. Somehow he's holding his head with no with fingers. fingers. <laughs> Uh, and then Freddy gives us a little wink, like, I'll be back. I'm here. Uh, and then it ends. Do you remember the deleted ending? Horrific. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Please enlighten us. If I remember right, I didn't have time to rewatch it, but like they're about to have sex for the first time. Yup. So it's wi- Will, right? Yeah. Will and the girl. And Freddy's face to- is on his dick. Dude, no, that'd be pretty funny. I'm going no. inside. His balls. Oh. <laughs> it's Each actually one. little. Yeah. <laughs> it's little Freddy sperms. Oh, <laughs> you little Ray, you little meatball. But the, the weird thing is okay. this: she's like, I actually feel like, bad for Jason. It's yeah. like he killed all your friends. So they're there, and they're like getting into it. Which is just so odd. Like, okay, we're about to have so, sex so after everyone's been murdered. So they're about to get into it, and she's like, I and feel bad like, for Jace. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, he's getting into it, and it's getting really passionate. She's He's, like, ripping off her clothes and stuff, and he's, all of a sudden, though, he's getting, like, a little too aggressive, it's and Freddy. then he's got a hand in it. It's, it's Freddy. He's Freddy, but then Jason is also in the room, right? He's jerking oh, off I didn't in the corner. See Jason. I thought Jason was in the oh. room. I If I missed that. Is he recorded it? He's getting. He's, he's wait, recording it. Wait, wait Freddie's cucking wait, Jason. Wait, pause. <laughs> Freddie cucks. Jason. I need to confirm this. Pause. <laughs> I'll be right back. Hold on. Let me pull up the scene. Let me pull up the scene real quick. Oh, that's right. Jason <laughs> isn't in the scene. I just remembered. <laughs> I didn't pause the production to look at the <laughs> clip of yeah, it. No. Why no. did I remember Jason showed up in the room? Because that's end? what you wanted to see is him in the background jerking off recording this. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess Jason won technically. He had some interference though. Uh, he had, he was assistant. Assistance? Yeah. Assistance. He had a handicap. Yeah. The ref didn't see. No. That's the referee didn't see. Because you didn't see that, did you? Yeah. So yeah, I remember at the end of the movie, loving it, it's locking great. out, it's being so good, in a good yeah. mood. Yeah. Uh, I, I would have liked to have seen a Freddy versus Jason in like the mid nineties with that kind of like grittiness and whatnot. I think we talked about like yeah, fr- like right. Jason goes to hell era. Yeah, Freddy versus Jason would have been cooler. It? That's well, obviously that was a problem. They couldn't figure it out. Even yeah. like the aesthetic of Nightmare Five would have been cool. Yeah. for something like no. Freddy versus yeah. Jason. I wonder how that would have yeah that how yeah. That and have then for out. whatever reason they didn't follow up on it with the second one. I don't think it needs it, man. No. Like honestly, I don't think it needs it either. But I'm like, like I'm good. Like yeah. it's like here's don't this ruin thing. It. They it wanted happened. to do the Evil Dead thing, uh, but that I think they said. Far, I think we mentioned before that Sam Raimi and Bruce Campbell were like. 
they want to complete control of all the characters. And that wasn't going to happen. The characters yes. they didn't own. They didn't want it. Uh, but, but they we made got it a into, comic book. They yeah. made it into a comic book, yeah. which I still have not read, but I, I, I will read. Yeah. I will um, read instead, I'm reading Jason versus Leatherface. I'll put that out there. Last year, I Good did. Uh, actually, earlier this year, I did Jason versus Jason X. Oh, that's huh. right. I have a whole video on the Jason yeah. X comics. They are ridiculous. I would love to see all the slashers, like yeah. say all the Jasons get together. So they and fight were the trying Jason. to do Is this Jason, the Jason that fights Jason X. Huh? Is this Jason the Jason that fights Jason X? Which You're going to have to watch the video to find out. Uh. Um, yeah, so they were... It's funny that only Alien vs. Predator followed this up. Alien vs. Predator was another one that had a bunch yeah. of Alien and vs. This, Predator stories already written. And yeah, this one dead. doing so well is what got them to do it. But, like, yeah, they were trying... Oh, it's like a fucking no-brainer with Alien and Predator. I'm surprised though. they yeah. never did Halloween, Dimension... Oh, own both Hellraiser and Halloween. You could have done. No, you shouldn't no have done it, way. but you could have no. done something with it. No, no. Uh, um, no. They never it, did that. I think they were going to talk about doing because the Clive Barker connection, like Candyman versus Pinhead. No, that didn't happen. No, like, I don't, I don't would know be a good what fight. the versus thing is there. Like, why would yeah. they fight each other? Exactly. I mean, Freddy I mean, versus was, Jason. Where does where did that? No, but like but that it, was the problem, though. They wanted. The, it, it kept thinking like, okay, what is a good reason? Why are they fighting? Why are they fighting? Why are they fighting? God damn. Sorry, I got I got distracted. Uh, I'm looking for uh, something specific. Jason and Michael makes more sense if you're gonna do something like yeah. that. I think there's a fan film like that. But like, sure. but like, I really like how Freddy gets Jason to be in the movie. Like I need yes. somebody to kill for me. It works. You know, it to it, it works for me and yeah. as a whole. Yes. Sorry, but I'm looking for something really funny. But I don't need I don't need like oh it's Ash from Evil Dead and guess what? It's part of the Necronomicon and that's why Jason no, comes back to life because he's actually that. a deadite and it's like yeah, that kind of sucks. I heard all that. I don't so, like that. Yeah. This uh this movie came out uh -huh. on the twenty fifth anniversary of Halloween and they made that twenty fifth anniversary DVD. Yeah. Which I own somewhere. Uh, and they decided, hey, we got to get an ad in the Freddy vs. Jason magazine. So it goes, Freddy vs. Jason? Question mark. Bring, bring us, us the, the winner. winner. <laughs> I kind of like Let that. Let me tell you something. I like Freddy that. and or Jason are fucking Michael Myers up. I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah, it depends on the Michael absolutely. Myers. Depends no, on the Michael Myers. Sure, because then all of a sudden the Michael Myers, like, no matter what, he also can't die. If, uh, are you bringing in the Jason mm. aspect? Of, unless he... Which, yeah, which Michael? Which Michael, please? Part, part six? If part six, part six, Sal Michael. And Michael, Irish, Celtic. Uh, yeah, part six, Halloween Michael could probably take him. Yeah, Rob Zombie, Michael could probably take him. Um, Halloween's ends, Michael. Dead within seconds. Yeah, Halloween Holy kills fuck. Michael when he was stronger for some reason. Might not yes. be able to take him. I think Jason would whoop his ass. Uh, how did no one do Leprechaun versus Chucky? Uh, oh, that, that would really be doesn't make sense. But or that would be I, fun. someone did a fan thing where they cut together Wishmaster versus Leprechaun. I, that oh makes God. a little bit more. That actually does because <laughs> they do kind of grant fun. wishes yeah. and stuff. That's actually kind of fun. <laughs> that could be kind of fun. I think, dude, Warwick Davis opposite Andrew Divoff. Mm -hmm. mm. That would have been good. Which, I mean, All what right. other what other would you want to see like without you would I, not don't think plot but what two horror characters would you like to see go at it don't think plot just well they made a epic. saw reference in that one texas chainsaw massacre jigsaw versus leatherface no i, I also I like that well one. just to your point and you were talking about leatherface uh, versus jason like mm. that's called also kind of an interesting thing too yeah i feel like i don't really know how it makes sense but like it feels okay in my brain yeah <laughs> Is it just because Machete versus Chainsaw? Not even necessarily versus Chainsaw. Just like I feel, I feel like there's a weird story there where they can run into each other and not be so like hand fisted. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Puppet Master versus the Children of the Corn. No, no. Puppet Master versus Demonic Toys, which happened. Yeah. Yes. And it's awful. Oh, uh, oh well, I forgot. We got the best crossover ever: Lake Placid versus Anaconda. Anaconda that's right. Now Holy keep in mind, now, Lake Placid is not the name of the crocodile. How do you know? <laughs> it's not Lake M Placid. That's the, the crocodile's name. Lake Placid wasn't even the name of the lake in the movie for some reason. <laughs> oh. Anyway, oh my god, Freddy versus Jason. What would you guys like to say? Let us know. What you uh, yeah, like what would say. you guys like to say? Do you Which like this movie? Characters? Would you like to see this remade at some point? Like Mummy Comp no. versus Cumdar, of course. That's what they want. That to would see. be our ultimate thing. <laughs> Mike or Miles. Mike or Miles. Versus yeah. the Diddler. If we're, oh! doing, if, we're doing, if we're doing movie dumpster hack the movies oh, crossover. No. Yes. 
Sean, Sean in the outfit and then like the Michael Myers with the helmet on. But again, if, it's, it's Jess. It's if, Jess. If Dino is watching this, it's going to happen. He's going to make it. <laughs> Micro Miles versus, Michael the, Miles versus, versus the Diddler. Yes. Remember, it has to be the dissolved return of Michael Myers. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so wow, what a journey. That was fun. What a journey going through all these movies. Yeah. What do we have next? Oh, we have the Friday 13th remake. And the Nightmare on Elm Street remake, and Oof. I think that's it. Bless you if, for getting through that. What is your? What has been your favorite Friday the Thirteenth and or Nightmare on Elm Street up until this point? Oh, for the entire like, series, like yeah. movie, it's yeah. still it'll always be six for me. Six Friday Thirteenth, Friday Part 13, Six, part six is yeah. a lot of fun. It's great. Um, I think maybe I think the first one is the best. If, like, if we're not counting the first of each, that's mm-hmm. what I was gonna say. Like, if we're talking about best sequel, for me it's six, and then. For Nightmare on Elm Street, it's a toss-up between two and Freddy's Dead. I'm sorry. Really? It's a toss-up between two and Freddy's Dead. I love those. I what love those you? movies. I do love two. I love for uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah. Two is fun. Two is fun. What about Friday 13th? Uh, Friday 13th? I just remember liking, was it five a lot? Is that the one I said? The Insane like? Asylum and the yeah. Copycat. Yeah, yeah. I think I liked five That was a fun. Lot. I warmed up on that one. I think, I think both threes... Are my favorites. I love Dream Warriors Three. and I love Friday. Th- oh 3D. yeah, yeah. Friday three D is pretty but good. Friday three. Part six is really good. Friday. Yes, that's my other like favorite one. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think if I had to pick a second, I would probably pick two for for Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah. yeah oh, and I I keep forgetting. Like I usually leave New Nightmare separately. That's probably the best okay. after the first I, one. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, uh, but that's maybe, more of a maybe. spin-off than but, a but sequel. But you also really. like the meta shit, and like yeah. I like the idea happening there. But I mean, I wouldn't. Th- I don't. It's not one of my favorites. Like I said, I consider it a spin-off more than a sequel. So, because it is, it's not. It's not continuing the story. It's just a Friday a Nightmare on Elm Street spin-off. I guess so, yeah. Uh, but yeah, we'll come back at some point with Friday Thirteenth, two thousand eight, two thousand nine. I think it's two thousand nine. Two thousand nine. And Nightmare on Elm Street 2010, yes. which I have not watched in a very long time. I've seen gotcha. that movie one time. I think I've seen it twice. And Just I once. know my sister last year when I was helping her babysit, it came on TV and I was like, okay, time to change channel. Me, me, me. I'm, <laughs> I'm Jackie Earl Haley as Freddy Krueger. I forgot the chick from Arrow was in that. It's been you know so what? long since but I've seen it. But Freddy got burned. Let's make him look like a real burn victim. I, I have different problems with that movie. I, no, oh there's a gosh. lot more than just that, but I'm just saying he looks like. But shit. yes, thank you for joining us on this yeah. journey. Woo! Oh man, now we gotta get we gotta get back other, to the Child's Play movies. Yeah, I was gonna say what other franchise can we do? We gotta go back Child's to Child's Play. Play. Yeah. Actually, did you saw? Huh? Did you guys do all the? Saw I've movies? only ever done one Saw movie. I should start going through. Yeah, because we got there's we got, fucking you got plenty of content for that baby. There's I like know there's a tenth one on the way. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do we say Saul X or Saul Ted? What are we saying? It's the same thing. It's Saul just like Ted. Jason X. Yeah. You just say Jason. Uh, X. Here's the thing. Friday um, time. Yeah. At the time of this recording. Oh shit. I think I have put out the first episode I did with Monica for Bloodline Hellraiser show. I think I've made that publicly okay. available. On Patreon, I've they're all complete there. Oh, really? Every nice. single Hellraiser review is there, and I've stitched That's them horrific. all together into one video. Oh. Even so, the last two. Not the, like the newest one, but the, the last. The 2B ones, yeah. Oh. On Patreon, I'm going to put them all together, and I'm going to throw the Shit. one that we did at the very end of it. That includes the the, the re- remake. Remake. Yeah. yeah. But uh cuz on the main channel we've only ever done the remake publicly and my little breakdown gotcha. of the yeah. work print. So well, I'm going to put treat. the first as a Patreon sampler I'm putting the first episode of Bloodline out and if you like it, watch what me and Monica did when we went through all of the <laughs> Hellraiser movies. What a fun journey that was. Oh yeah. Ooh. Uh yeah, so we should it's get back fun. into Chucky. Chucky, what else? Um What other movie? What other franchise do we not really cover? Yeah, you said Saul. Saul would be a good one. I don't one. know if I would want to do a Hostel or not. There's mm. only 3 not- of them. Yeah. yeah. Well, I know me, you, and Sean have been talking about worst children of the corn. Oh, we got like, we got your fucking number for children of the corn, man. There's like 20 that would movies. Be a good one. Uh, I do <laughs> have to make the spreadsheet to yeah. let us know who has watched what movie, yes. so we can finally do. I'm gonna try to watch them all in Whoa. somehow. Yeah. There's not 20. Not but horror, still. but on Patreon, I do want to finish the Trancer movies. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because well, I'm having only, a lot of fun with Trancer. There's only three more of those left. Yeah, I think there's only three more yeah. of those. We already did Evil Dead. We did the worst we Evil Dead. Evil we Dead. talked about all... Best Evil Dead. We talked what about all of them. Phantasm. Let there's us know. What Phantasm. franchise? What oh, you know, me and, jo- we cover? me and Johanna haven't done the last Hannibal movie, Hannibal Rising. Oh. I gotta do that. How many somewhere. screams have you done? Just the one? No, we did all? No, we did one... 
five, and then on the w the monthly wrap up, we talked about six. Okay. So we missed yeah. two and three. Can we do like the whole conjuring? Did we? Did I we did do that, that with Casey. Shit. We did worst conjuring. Mm. Shit! Like in the whole. Conjuring I could go back universe? and do Insidious if you want. Oh, worst. No, insidious. I don't want to do Insidious. <laughs> I hate. No, the last we did on the wrap up, I hated five. Insidious, the Purge. Five. I've never touched the Purge movie. Oh, you uh, do Purge? Yeah. You should do the fucking. Dead movies, man. The Romero Dead movies, and oh, there's like those shit. would be good. Yeah, How be many? Se there's like three Day of the Deads. Yes. Oh, the Romero Dead movies. Yes, that's a good one. And that's I've been talking about them a lot because I got that box set behind you. That big box set they did for Dawn of the Dead. Oh yeah. I have it signed by all the main actors. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Got Joe Pilato's autograph here. There you go, the man. Guy from the first one. Because yeah. you can do the '90s one. You, you there's a yes. lot. There's a lot of material. Yes, I have a lot to say about those. What movies about exercise? We could do a Pittsburgh trip. Oh, that would be fun. We'll yeah. go to the mall. Um, the um. I just saw um, the by Buffalo the way, Bills. By the way, someone pointed out that you also add L's to uh, words that end yes, in Yes, I know. I'm from South Jersey. That's what we say, do. You're from Jersey. Yeah, because it's like- South Why am I the only one who gets shit on for it, though? Because I'm I'm special. We already bust on me for saying everything else. Yes, you else. know what? We should go to the Buffalo Bill house. Yes, I like he those said, guys. He said to hit him up. I just saw him at NJ Harkon. Um, you know, maybe we'll Edison. do the last- He said, because he said there's a whole- Bunch of yeah. things. It's there's a whole yeah. bunch of them in Pittsburgh. Yeah, he has a whole list. We of We should most of the most of the Romero stuff was shot. We should shoot yeah. a Hannibal Rising review there, hopefully, and then we should just do a tour I would, of Pittsburgh. We do a tour of Pittsburgh for all the zombie stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all the Silence this, of the Lamb stuff, and of course, I know everyone wants to know all the Dark Knight Rises stuff. We'll do a he Dark did Knight Rises. He literally tour. mentioned that. He goes, I don't understand why Tony hasn't done it there because the Dark Knight Rises. And I was like, shut the fuck up. That's why he's I, really I know. going. We will. You know what? I'm gonna actually hack the movies is closing. I'm starting a tour business in Pittsburgh where I only like, talk we... about. All the things I went to when I was in town for the Dark Knight Rise. Gotcha, yeah. But and I'm like, over there is my cousin's friend's house. Uh, they let me stay with them. And over there, the guy who drove me to the oh set God. that I went to college with, his old apartment's over there. And people are like, this is the worst store <laughs> ever. I don't know why I pretended to hold a microphone when I have a microphone <laughs> right in front of me. Also, you're talking into it like this. I don't know why you were talking. Yeah, I'm talking into like a megaphone. Baby. You were talking into a toilet paper tube. Like, yeah. share, and subscribe, and also check out Movie Dumpster. Please check out Movie Dumpster. We'd really appreciate it. Tony's been on a ton of episodes, and YouTube doesn't like promoting those kinds of sites, but there are some spicy sites out there where you can find Crystal, right? Yeah, there's one. Also, I'll give there's you one. her address if you want to hang out with her, and we'll talk to you later. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page. Talking about tapes.